Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and a happy Friday evening to everyone. Welcome back to another live stream. Uh, we're checking out another brand new game today. This is a game called Going Medieval. Uh, it just came out in uh, like a, an early beta, I think, like an open beta that's starting today, the 21st of May, and running through the 24th of May. Uh, but it's basically like this uh, kingdom building, community management kind of style game that's uh, very, very similar from what I've seen to RimWorld, only it's like voxel and uh, more sort of uh, 3D based and stuff. But uh, big thanks to, to uh, Foxy Voxel for providing the code for me to access and play the game. Uh, if you would like to check it out yourself, it's available on both Steam and the Epic Game Store. But of course, if you get it on the Epic Game Store and use uh, creator code CrypticFoxGaming on checkout, then uh, that helps support the channel at the same time. Uh, but as I said, it is an open beta right now. You can just download it and play it uh, until the 24th. Um, game itself comes out, I believe, on June 1st, if I'm not mistaken. It's either June 1st or June 2nd. I can't remember off the top of my head now. Uh, but uh, feel free to go check that out. Uh, but welcome everybody who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. Uh, as always, a big thanks to everyone who's clicked on the join button to become a channel member. I really do appreciate the support. A special thanks to all of our Mistakes Are Made uh, top tier members, of which uh, Robert has just become our latest one. Welcome, Robert. Thanks for clicking that uh, the join button. Uh, so we're going to jump in and play today. Now, we're going to be fumbling through this a little bit because I haven't played it. Uh, I did have uh, access to the game starting like yesterday, but I just haven't had a chance to check it out yet, aside from like loading it up to make sure that it worked. Um, but from what I've seen, it does look a lot like RimWorld in terms of like managing your people and doing resource jobs and stuff. Uh, there are three different scenarios we can do. Uh, standard, your settlement will experience enemy raids as well as environmental events. Uh, raids occur at steady intervals. Their difficulty adapts as you progress. There's peaceful with no raids if you just want to build. Or survival, where you get like these randomized raids and stuff. Since we don't know what we're doing, we're gonna go with standard, and then of course there's a difficulty choice here too. We'll just go with normal. I should probably choose easy based on based on my knowledge and abilities in this game. Um, so there's uh, three different scenarios here. You can uh, do a new life, um, which uh, you start in the season of spring, and they give you a bunch of resources and stuff. And the idea is that. Uh, You've got like three settlers to start with, and you can uh, build out your community this way. And it gives like an age range and everything. There's a lot of detail in this game from what I've seen. Uh, they have some good like, clothing and stuff on as well. You can do a lone wolf where you start in the winter and you're like one person with limited supplies. Um, so that's kind of a cool, cool different way to tackle it. Uh, we're going to go with a new life though since uh, again, I don't know what I'm doing. So <laughs> we're uh, going to figure it all out. Wait, you can't start. Where's Rabbit Dog? Oh, he's not always going to be here right on time. Uh, okay, so a couple different, uh, a couple different locations here. Now, when I pulled this up before, this must be randomly generated because, um, the options were a little bit different last time in terms of where things are located. But we have, uh, you can start at a valley, uh, you can be on the hillside. Well, let's see what the differences are here. So valley is plentiful vegetation, fertile soil and clay, moderate amount of limestone, lesser amounts of gold, silver, iron, and salt. Uh, you can do hillside, uneven terrain, suitable for a good defensive position, a fair amount of limestone and clay, moderate amount of fertile soil and vegetation, or you can do the mountaintop, which is uh, plentiful limestone, gold, iron, and silver, lesser amounts of fertile soil, clay, and vegetation. So obviously different benefits to each. We're going to go with the valley first. I suspect that's the easiest one for keeping people alive, you know, the whole farming thing. First time ever joining any channel. Love my green name. Well, welcome, Robert. I really do appreciate the support. I'm glad you enjoy the channel enough that uh, you wanted to click on that and, and choose the top tier membership, no less. Thank you. Very generous. Uh, we're going to go with the valley, though. I'm going to, again, I, I have no idea what I'm doing in the game, so we've got to figure it all out. This is where I was saying it. It seems a lot like RimWorld. Your characters that you choose, uh, you can randomize them and stuff, but they have like a, a set of skills uh, across a wide variety of different activities, and then they have different perks and stuff as well. So this one here. <laughs> She's ruthless. She's extremely candid and doesn't suffer fools gladly. Those who can't handle the unvarnished truth tend to steer clear. Industrious. Certainly a busy bee, buzzing around, getting things done, dust till dawn. She never seems to rest. I'm I'm not really going to muss around with choosing different people. You can randomize them and get different skill groups and stuff. And then you've got, like, your different group skills over on the side here. I'm not going to muck around with it too much, mostly because uh, I don't know what's good exactly in the game anyway. So we're just going to go for something that looks like it's reasonably balanced. And try to run from there. Animal handling is low here, but whatever. Only way to preserve food is to eat it quickly. At least that's what Aiden thinks. Consumption duration minus 50%. Okay, so they eat fast. Lightweight. Can't really hold his drink. Even a tiny tipple will make Aiden doze off. Oh, very nice. Um, so we've got Aiden Briggs. Actually, we'll rename these people. Let's. Uh, I think it makes sense to rename them. So let's, uh, let's make one of these Robert. I don't think I can change the last names. At least it doesn't seem that way. 
because uh, I can't click on it. I just get their first name here. So we'll make this first one Robert. Uh, deer mod. Well, I mean, if it's a deer mod, it's got to be a rabid. <laughs> rabid little. And then Yohama Eimer. Uh, she's ruthless as well. And then outgoing. Uh, she's a great sport, always setting up boats, games, and sing-alongs. She's a jolly soul. She's like Santa Claus. Thanks, do not kill me. Oh, I'm sorry, Robert. I make no assurances. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit needs to be around on time. Alright, so let's make this third person can be Shass. It's a very nice dress you have on there, Shass. I hope you enjoy. Uh, Alright, so this is our summary for our scenario. New life, etc, etc. Uh, I'm going to leave the tutorial tips on because I don't know what I'm doing. But let's go ahead and embark. So the general idea here is that we're like fleeing some sort of war. And we're setting up a new land somewhere. Starting from scratch. Like We, we just have like a few supplies. Um, the plague has ravaged the British Isles, leaving a, a trail of destruction in its wake. Untold millions went to an early grave, and those left standing were plunged into poverty, brutally scarred by the horrors they'd witnessed. Nothing would ever be the same again. As the earth quickened in the spring of 1353, Robert, Rabbit, and Shaft set off into the wilderness to claim a piece of land as their own, as it was their right in the eyes of God and under the law. Here they may lay down the foundations of some kind of future. Perhaps hope will follow. Rabbit is confident, defiant even. We'll make this work. We'll take our share of the land, we will build there, and we will defend it. Many have tried, some have fallen, beset by bandits, defeated by drought. If many have also prevailed. Have faith, the place we found will stand centuries from now, our descendants will still be there. After many travails, uh, they arrived in a valley with golden plains cut through by a snaking river. For Shas had conjured visions of bountiful harvest, song, and wine. A place to put down roots, a homeland. They decided to title it... Tower Dreth. I, I wonder if I could rename that. <laughs> Alright, so here is, uh, well, welcome to Medieval, going Medieval. Please bear in mind the game's under heavy development. Yeah, so there may be bugs and stuff that's still not finished yet. The game's not ready for release. This is still a beta. Uh, that means the game may well have bugs and unfinished yet. Yep. Yeah. Uh, camera controls and stuff. I already looked through this, so I don't need to look how to do that. You, oh, this is three-dimensional, so like in, uh, in RimWorld, where it tends to be not so much. Uh, you can actually stack up buildings and dig down into the ground and stuff in this one, which looks kind of neat. Uh, game speed controls, we don't really worry about that. Okay, so let's put these on pause while we gotta get the lay of the land here. Welcome to Tywar Death, or Dearth, Death, or whatever it is. Uh, it is actually blocked in by a little square, so we don't have all that far to go. Uh, relatively small space here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is like our immediate surroundings again. Very, very similar to... Uh, uh, to RimWorld, where we uh, we build in the immediate area, then you can expand out to other spots. I like that you can see, like, the three-dimensional trees and stuff. And you can get down pretty close to the ground, too. Like, check out Rabbit over here with his fancy goatee. Robert's got a, uh, even got, like, a little ribbon in his beard over here. Uh, so these are all the supplies that we're starting with initially. We got them piled up in the starting area. Uh, I don't know. There's a I know there's a button to return the camera to the regular view, but I don't know what it is. So we'll just keep this view, I guess. <laughs> Zombie horde approaching from the south. So there's no zombies, but there are uh, raiders that can attack your encampment. So there's uh, you know something to be careful of there. Uh, up at the top here, we of course have jobs. Uh, the jobs panel is where you can prioritize each settler's task. By default, settlers will prioritize their jobs from left to right. Uh, this shouldn't really be surprising. This is again very similar to many resource management style games, where you can give them different priorities for doing different types of activities. And the ones that have a star are the ones that they're better at. So. For example, Robert is like super good at smithing. Uh, and down here we see, we've got uh, Shass is super good at research. Apparently Shass is an intellectual, who knew? Manly men wear ribbons, that's right. But only in their beard and hair and stuff. Anyway, so that's uh, that's the job. I'm not gonna mess with this too much again because I, I, wanna, I wanna see how things play out and how they do stuff. Um, we've got schedules in here. We can set like their work time, their sleep time, their leisure time, and then their anything time. Leave it all as anything time right now, because uh, again, I don't know how it's going to impact it. Tutorial manage. Use manage panel to determine which items your settlers will auto equip, what food and alcohol they're allowed to consume. Mm, alcohol. <laughs> you can still force settlers to consume or equip something using the right click action menu. So they'll auto equip stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what's Robert got here? Okay, so they can choose melee weapons, ranged weapons, etc. Let's just do all weapons for all of them, because, I mean. Again, I don't know anything about how they play, so we'll uh, we'll do it that way. I don't think they really even have much here weapon-wise. Might be a spear here. A sturdy wooden spear. We got a bow over here. Alright, so let's maybe give... Uh, 
You know, I don't know what any of their skill levels are like for any of these different types of things. This is Shas. Uh, okay, we can set them aggressive, fleet, or neutral. Okay. Inventory. Skills. There we go. Animal handling, botany, construction, marksman. Marksman of five. So let's give Shas the bow. You take the uh, you take the ranged weapon. Let's see what what's Rabbit's deal. Rabbit has uh, melee of eight, marksman of, of five. So let's give uh, we'll give Rabbit the melee weapon. So we'll go. Uh, I don't know. It's weird that I can only give them like a one-handed weapon or a two-handed weapon. I, I I guess I'll give them the two-handed because I think the spears are two-handed. Low armor tradition, low building. All right, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, and then Robert. Marksman of six, melee of four. Maybe maybe Robert should have the bow. Give him the bow, and we'll give her, I don't know, melee one-handed weapons for Shaz. Beats me. Uh, research, which apparently I can't do yet, because I probably don't have a research table I can work with. Yeah, research bench we got to make. This is the region we're in, so we can see the different uh, factions that are around us. There is uh, a couple of enemy bands near us. These blue ones are apparently friendly, and the red ones are not so friendly. Cool. Ah, you got the bow. Well, you've had slightly better skill than it, so you're slightly less likely to shoot yourself in the foot. At least that's my my thinking, anyway. Down here we got building stuff. So for the base, we can build walls and doors and things. Um, stairs and thatch roofs. Uh, we've got uh, production things we can make. Furniture, leisure equipment, including some um, ritual shrine type things. Miscellaneous. Funeral pyres. We're going to need these. We oh, look. We can make unmarked graves. Everyone's going into an unmarked grave. Darn it. <laughs> uh, we can make wooden merlin. Wood stockades offered valid protection for ingress from down the ages. All right. And zones. Oh, default stockpile zone. Designated area where your resources are stored. Well, you know what? Let's just make that, like, if we're going to have a, a default stockpile, why don't we just leave everything where it's sitting right now and call that our stockpile, right? So we've got default, designated area where default resources are piled. We've got a dumping stockpile, a place where waste goes. And then a warfare stockpile, designated area where weapons and armor are stored. So I'm sure those will come into come into play a little bit more as we, uh, as we play along. We'll make a little dumping spot over here. All right, my, my gentle townspeople or whatever you are, uh, get to work doing stuff. Um, up here we've got the, we can change view layers. There's only one layer to view, though, because we're single-floored. Hiding roof elements, hide trees, okay. I want to be able to see. Overlay rooms. Alright, so they're going to need stuff to be able to build. Uh, I guess uh, first things first, we should probably set some people on jobs chopping trees down, and maybe doing some gathering to get, uh, get food resources and other sorts of things. I guess. Maybe some mushrooms over here. Happy long weekend! Yeah! Well, long weekend for those of us in Canada, anyway. Not so much for those of you who are in the US or whatever. Your long weekend's not until next weekend. Three stockpiles forbidden! How do I make that not forbidden? Is it forbidden still? Destruction material fuel. Okay, good. So, it looks like I have to, like... I'm gonna have to make things allowed to be picked up. That's kind of, uh, weird. Alright. <laughs> Again, I think actually they did that with uh, with RimWorld too. Like some of the starting things that you, you couldn't pick up, they'd just be laying on the ground. Oh, there's a deer down here. I think we need to set that for some good old fashioned hunting. Tutorial Forbidden or Allow. Settlers will not interact with items that are marked as forbidden. Forbid forbidden items will have a forbidden sign over them. Uh, you can allow forbidden items to be uh, by using. A the allow order or by selecting the item and selecting the allow action. Okay. This mo oh, here's the allow order down here. I get it. Where are you going, Robert? Nobody's picked up their bow yet. I guess they're not really in a real rush to get get equipped. Harvest ruined! Don't you ruin the harvest. Stop it. Why are they leaving it all sitting on the ground there? I wonder if there's a benefit to uh, them putting the food away somewhere. Maybe I should have harvested that yet. <laughs> Nobody's chopping trees either. Okay, I'm assuming they're going to need a place to sleep. They need uh, some sort of shelter from, you know, the elements and wild animals and stuff. So let's plan for that. We'll do uh, let's do a wooden floor over here. 
Their first house is just going to be a little humble home. Uh, they're going to want a door, I imagine. Well, that's cool. It shows the, uh, the, the plane on which the door swings, too. So we've got a door. Uh, we're going to want some windows, because, I mean, who wants to live in a house without windows? How do I rotate this thing? There we go. Plenty of windows. Hopefully that doesn't make it more vulnerable to attack. <laughs> a little weird placing the stuff down for the building, but I think I just gotta get used to that. I wonder if I wasted building resources by having them build floors where I'm putting walls. It strikes me as potentially something that's not worth doing. Eating Fox, is this the grand castle being built? Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. We're in the midst of constructing the biggest castle known to man. A one-room hovel, basically. <laughs> yes, but what's the average airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? This game makes me sad. I miss medieval times. Soon, honey. One day we'll get to go back there. Oh, so the, uh, when you build your... Uh, when you click on the stuff you want to build, down here you can check different variants. So we're building wood walls right now, but we can make clay walls and limestone walls when we get the resources for that sort of thing. Very industrious, these people. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't just automatically take the stuff that they harvested and put it into the storage spot. I wonder if I can define different specific types of storage. Uh, place to drag, place to dismiss. Maybe, I wonder if I can, can I click on... Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can choose what different types of things we want them to store here. Apparel, carcass, food, etc, etc. Uh, you know... Maybe I should give them a little storeroom over here for food specifically, so they uh, make a point of putting food there. You can let the other stuff just sit outside on the ground. I'm sure it's fine. It's just you know, resting in the dirt. Maybe we'll give them. Uh, you know what? We'll give them their food store, like maybe like right across the hall from this, or not the hall, but like right across the way from this thing. And we'll tell them to build another little uh, set of set of structures here. Make me a place to store food goods. I'm assuming at some point we'll have like the ability to do. Well, we can't because it's medieval. We won't be able to do like full on uh, refrigeration, but I imagine we'll be able to do things like uh, like some sort of cooling system or something in here. If I had to guess, I should get a top down to do this here. I guess. There we go. Perfect. Who the heck makes a log house with vertical tumble logs? Uh, I do. Stop it. Don't you mock their craftsmanship. These are the most craftsmanshipy people around. Uh, I can't extend over top of the side. I guess I gotta do like some actual... Actual coverage there if I wanna have like covered porches and things. Uh, same thing over here. So there we go. Uh, and then this area inside here, I'm going to want them to designate as my storage spot for food. So we'll do a default stockpile in here. Got to hide my roof. This in here will be our default stockpile. Uh, I specifically want this to be for carcasses and food. Stick all that in there. Brilliant. Okay, I should probably let them do some work now, because... Chronic for giving people too many instructions in these games. How do I stop looking at the grids I put on the ground, though? What was that? Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Well, it's sitting on the ground. Go pick it up. All right, Robert. You uh, you need to go get this bow. Actions. Uh, equip sturdy longbow. There we go. You're not equipped. Skill level not met. What? Skill level's got a half of the bow. I'm confused by this. My armor penetration. Low armor shield damage. Huh. Why can't Robert equip it? He was the one we were giving the bow to, right? He's got uh he's got marksman six. Feel like he should be able to do that. Alright, Robert. Go get that thing. Equip sturdy longbow. Required skill marksman 10. Oh, that's why. Ah. Alright, we won't be doing that for a while. How do you build your marksman up if you don't actually get a chance to shoot something? 
Hey Jess, how you doing? Pretty dumb, you think the bow requires level 10? It does, I uh... It does require level 10, but I'm surprised that it didn't uh... Oh, you know what, let me change this up. We don't want to store carcass or food here. We want that to be stored in our food storage room, which they're not finishing yet. Probably because I didn't tell them to cut enough trees down. That, that's probably a thing we should do. Not more trees here, people. Hack them trees. We need the wood. Yeah, they're all unhappy. Wait till they see they're all sleeping in the same room. <laughs> they think they're unhappy now. Is there a short bow here somewhere? There's uh Oh yeah, there is a good short bow. Alright. Well well Robert, let's see. Can we equip this thing on you? Equip good short bow, there we go. You can equip that thing. I'm surprised they didn't go and pick up their uh, their their weapons and stuff yet. Let's give Rabbit a uh give him a spear. Actually, what's his uh, his melee is eight. Let's uh, wait, let's give let's give him the the, the sword instead. We'll give Shast the spear. Sorry, right, Shast, you're getting the shaft. <laughs> I'm not dead. Thanks for asking. You start to make more things positive. Oh yeah, that 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 is a, you know on the positive side. <laughs> Robert lied on his resume. Okay, uh, there should be a job or a speed up button here. Let's get these guys going a little bit quicker. Tutorial construction. Uh, your settlers need somewhere to live. Start by placing wooden walls from the base panel in a rectangle. Okay, we already did that. Place sleeping spots from the furniture panel inside so your settlers have somewhere to sleep. That's probably important. They might want that. <laughs> Not enough beds, it says. Imagine that. How about that? They want places to sleep. The nerve of these guys. Uh, furniture. We've got uh, hay sleeping spot. That sounds, that sounds super comfortable. I'm assuming we can research better ones later. Well, that's pretty rough. Okay, people, you got your hay sleeping spots. There's only three of you, so that should be that should do. To work, build them beds. Hey, Sean, how you doing? You want a stick, boy? Go get it. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna adjust the uh, audio level here a little bit. Audio. I turned the music way down because it was pretty loud in the, in the menu, but. Still seems quiet. <laughs> oh, ah, it's another one of those games that pauses as soon as I click off the game. That's great. Not enough hay. Oh, right, we gotta get hay. Uh, all right, hey, 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 get, get me some of this. Those look like rocks over there. We probably don't want those for the bed, I wouldn't think. All these trees. So many trees. Here, more hay over here we can grab. Oh, what's this stuff over here? Nine bone piles forbidden. Construction material, raw materials. All right, we can build things out of bones. That seems perfectly safe. Why would there be a stack of bones over here? Is there a wild animal somewhere? Or if we have to be be careful of that, that might present problems. That kindly lineup of DQ was horrendous. I bet. Nice and warm out here today. I bet you the lineup of Dark Moon was really bad here too. Rabbit dog is sleeping where the food is. Rabbit! Come on, buddy. That's not very sanitary. Hope you showered first. Say good lord. It's okay, it's just a fletch wound. <laughs> With the arrow uh, arrow injury. <laughs> Merely a fletch wound. Oh, I like how it goes. Uh, when they all go to sleep, it goes into like the uh, max game speed. So that's good. 7.9 degrees Celsius outside. There are seasons, so we're in spring right now. It's going to get to winter and it'll get cold. We do have to be cautious of that. Almanac. Or bugs or send feedback. Screenshot. All right. We're good. Oh, what's going on here? They get a lot of dust when they build the roof on this thing. You got strawberry cheesecake blizzard. Uh, that's the one I get all the time. Mm, cheesecake blizzard. Oh, oh, oh. I wonder if the materials degrade outside if they're sitting out in the weather the same. Yeah, 197 of 200 hit points. They do appear to. Okay, well that's good to know. Simple healing kit. So again, similar to RimWorld, if stuff's, uh, stuff's not covered over, it does, uh, does apparently cause problems. Food shortage reported. <laughs> Sucker for anything with cheesecake? I can't say I blame you. Mm, 
cheesecake. I really wish they'd finish these houses. It's funny, they uh, they seem to be like, they're not necessarily finishing the first structure I put down, they're just kind of gradually doing things on their own. Oh, up here we've got our, our inventory of stuff. So we've got uh, 40 red currant, 35 cabbage, 12 packaged meals, 17 mushrooms. Oh, Robert Drake's animal handling skill is now level 3. Robert, how did you handle that animal? Where are you? Did you handle it by killing it? Is that what happened? I wonder why his animal handling went up. He's like, look, people, I can handle these animals just fine. Look, it's dead. It's been handled. <laughs> Jason chopping on a tree in an evening dress. It's not really an evening dress. It's more of a working dress. There's no galas to go to yet because we don't have a big fancy castle that we can do that kind of thing. I wonder if I can dig like a cold cellar in the ground if I like dig down. Keep like food and stuff cool in there. Uh, these are all forbidden, so I might as well make them so they can pick these things up now. Get those rocks. Not that we're not gonna be we're not really gonna be building anything with them, but we can click that. All these ones here too. Chas Aimer, botany skill now level ten. Apparently, cutting down trees is good for botany. For all you botanists out there, you're doing it wrong. Just chop trees down. You guys can collect all that stuff. We want to check this game out. Thanks so much for playing it. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I was looking forward to this one coming out too. It's we're uh, obviously just starting out, so there's not a high degree of action here. We're just uh, we're kind of building a place for our people to live initially. And as we go, things will get a little bit bigger and more fanciful, and we'll have to defend against enemies and stuff. I should actually give them uh, a place for leisure activities. Uh, so we can build them a, a fire, light for warmth. Cooking, gather around, bring a story, etc. So we can give them like, uh, give them this as a place to like chill out. Yeah, we'll put our fire pit like down here in the dirt. Whenever they finish building the structures, they can get to that. Stockpile appears to be disallowed. What do you mean? Oh, you're right, it is. Thank you. Make all that allowed. There we go, that's better. That's why they weren't picking up the weapons initially. It was all set to disallow. Okay, so they've got uh, a few more resources and stuff they can work with there. They can move the food and things inside now too. Stop those things from going bad, hopefully. You're <laughs> the best botanist ever! Chop down more trees! <laughs> Around these parts, botanists don't make things grow. We make things die! This one says, I wonder why it said spare room. Uh, okay, let's build a crafting bench thing in here. I mean, I don't know if, uh... I don't know if we have to... Oh, we can do a basic, basic research table in here. That seems reasonable. Basic research table there. We'll do, uh... A butchering table, I'm gonna guess we probably want to have somewhere else. So let's, <laughs> Let's make the butchering spot maybe, uh... Next door to where we're storing the food. We can even put in a door there so they can, like, go between the two. Keep the, uh... Keep the carnage separate a little bit so it's uh, in its own space here. Hopefully that's good enough. Wooden floor. That <laughs> didn't get it all. There we go. And then that's going to need uh, roofing here. Oh, that's not working. Something didn't work with our roof there. Uh, oh, maybe I can rotate it. How do I cancel that? No, oh, can prioritize the roofing. So the roof, the roof's not building. I need to, uh, I need to figure out how to cancel that. Oh, gotta, let me see. If I can actually. There we go. I can actually see it now. Uh, cancel. There we go. Um, okay. How do I add a roof to a connected building like this? Can I rotate the roof? I can. There we go. That'd be a bit weird, but whatever. It's my house. I'm gonna do what I want. Make a multi-purpose room, a bedroom plus butchery. 
Yes, that seems reasonable. Uh, okay, and then in here we're going to do our butchery table. For the butcherizing of the meateds. They're right there. Okay, what can we do with the research table here now? Tutorial production! To start production, uh, producing something, select a workstation. Add a product from the product list. Set the number of products you want your settlers to make. Tip. Set the food production to until you have mode, so your settlers will constantly produce. They have the material up to the required number. Alright, whatever. Uh, production cues. Oh, up here is my research. Oh, there we go. Tutorial research. Unlock new building options and production types in the research panel. Various forms of knowledge in the form of books that are available to unlock research items. Unlock research items will not consume the books. Take care of your books. Having them destroyed or stolen will disable unlocking new research items until the previously allocated item is researched. Books. Chronicle textbook thesis are produced at research tables. Basic research table. All right. So we've got to do some of that stuff. So I have 25 chronicles, no textbooks, and no theses. We well, can do basic agriculture. Requirements. None. Oh, I haven't done it yet. Let's unlock that. Oh, it, oh okay. So I've allocated 15 bucks to this because that's the cost for that. And then I don't have I don't have enough to do anything else. But that's okay. We can get that started at least. Get some farming going around this place. That's not how roofs work. It might leak. Quiet. It's my house. I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> yeah, it's not... Uh, I mean, it's not really merged in properly, but what are you going to do? Rabid has turned 36 today. Congratulations, Rabid. Happy 36th birthday. <laughs> oh, they're unhappy. They're exhausted. Can't you be less exhausted? Maybe I'll give them a... There's like a game table we can build in here that will give them like some entertainment. We'll give them a little backgammon table in their room here. There you go. Guys, build that. You can have that for your leisure time, which I haven't afforded you any of because you're slackers. Do more work. Do your leisure time later. Uh, maybe we'll do like a bounty, like a harvest table or something out here. We need to do. Uh, I probably need to give them a place to eat so we can give them like small wooden table out here. Guys can eat outside, enjoy the fancy fresh weather. Much less disease out here. A uh, wooden stool. Can't make like an actual chair, but I can give them the stools, I guess. Don't want to set them too close together. There we go. Oh, there are variants. Wooden stool or stone stool. Man, stone stool sounds super comfortable. <laughs> See the game The Long Drive? It's my summer car meets a zombie game, but the zombies are replaced by bunnies that... Bunny, I, I've seen uh, Dre play that a tiny little bit, but I, I didn't really watch all that much of it, to be honest. <laughs> Roar. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do over here. Uh, meals. That's the only product I can make. <laughs> let's do uh, until you have... I don't, I don't really know how many I, I'm going to need of these. Whatever, let's make like... So you have like 15 meals. I, I don't know. I don't know what a good balance number is for us to have. Well, I guess we'll find out. Oh. She orders the settlers. Uh, yeah, I think we've uh, we figured that out. We kind of need to do that earlier. Tutorial mood. Mood represents your settler's happiness. Be sure to check on your settler's mood often. A low mood can result in settlers rebelling and refusing to follow orders. Do as you're told. If a settler's mood reaches zero, they will leave your settlement. Things like cook, uh, cooked or lavish meals, comfortable beds, and a fair amount of leisure time can help your... Alright, I guess maybe I should try to give them some leisure time. Blast you fools and your need for leisure. You can all chill out together at the same time before bed. The rest of the time... Uh, the rest of the time you're going to focus on work. Why is it giving me that one spot where they're not doing it? You might do what I told. There you go. Go, go do your work. There's medieval times here. There's no such thing as good leisure time. You will work until you are virtually on death kind of thing. Whatever. Forever. Prepare meat forever. Production speed, 120%. Inside spare room. 
I wonder if I can define the rooms as being something in particular. Instead of it being a spare room, I'm gonna make it the butchery room. We like to call this place the slaughtering place. Except the animal's already dead. So I guess that doesn't apply. Alright, just keep stocking up that food, people. I don't know who's the cook around here. Oh. As the as it cooks, it uh it leaves Ashba. Oh, it cooks on its own. I don't even have to assign a cook to it? That's weird. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, he's chopping the vegetables in. Oh my god, he's using his own hand. Nobody eat the dinner. It's slightly tainted with Robert's fingertips. <laughs> the ESS laughter room. <laughs> Farmers call leisure time sleep. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much how that goes. Uh, gather all this stuff. I mean, as long as the berries are out here, we might as well gather them. I don't, I don't know if there's a point where it's bad to do that because they go bad or something. This looks like clay here, I guess. Iron nugget pile. Yeah. Yeah, I want iron nuggets. I wonder if anyone can mine. I don't have like a... Let's see what happens if I tell them to mine here. I, I don't have pickaxes, so I, I think this might present certain problems. <laughs> we might have to actually make like a smithy or something before we can do that. Uh, products. Chronicles. Sure, let's make uh, until we have, I don't know, 25 chronicles. We'll chronicleize. A dinner is pretty handy, but a bump. That's that's right fingers too. <laughs> Alright, this is the beginning. Does the game have different maps, or is it controlled by seeds? It seems to be controlled by seeds. Uh, when I fired up the game earlier to make sure that it would load up, it uh, it did give me a different setup of things uh, in terms of the location. But you basically choose whether you're going to be like a valley, a mountaintop, or hills. Um, and then it seems to give you like a randomized location based on that. So, not bad. Uh... Still calls it a spare room. I want to define the room somehow. How can I do that? I mean, I can I can do zones, but these are just like dropping zones. Warfare stockpile. Designated area where weapons and armor are stored. Maybe we should create a little a little armory in here. That's what we got. Unmarked graves. We should probably prepare some of those. Lord knows they're going to be needed. Stick traps. Research table, but okay, so I've got everything there I can do. Oops, uh, I don't want to pick that wall, thank you. We gotta go on research wise now. So we're, oh, we gotta make them, make more of the Chronicles. It's raining, people, get indoors! Look at these fancy little house we got. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have the meeting outside. I hadn't really counted on the rain. <laughs> uh,. Actually, let's see if we can do, uh, like, just a covered area for them to eat. If I just do, like, this, will it let me build a roof on top of it? Or do I actually need to support the thing all the way across? Acquiring mines, want to know. Um, looks like I do need to support it. Alright, let's cancel that. No, stop that. Okay. In the wall space, I don't really have... Oh, wooden beams. There we go. There we go. I can do those. Rotate. Support beams need to be placed between two walls or ground. Oh, I gotta wait for that to finish for me. Auto-saving. Alright. So once they uh, once they finish that, we'll do support beams. We'll do like an open dining area. They can like enjoy nature while they're shoving their medieval-style food in their face hole. It'd be great, really. Uh, let's see. Manage headgear, manage apparel, all apparel. All right, manage armor. Sure, everyone can wear armor. Why not? All foods, sure. Stimulants. Woo, they can get all stimulated. Like they only need opposing walls. Yeah, well, I don't even need walls necessarily. I think I can just put the, uh, I think I can put the wooden beams in now if I can do that. Oh, I see what ha oh, that's how it goes. Like that. 
Boom. And then once those are built, then we can do the roof in there like this. Shabam. We did it. Wooden beams. Things of the future. Vox invents a gastropub. <laughs> Perfect. All right, jobs. Let's see if we can get people doing stuff a little bit differently here. I want someone focusing on research. So let's get, uh, Shas is supposed to be smart, right? We get Shas doing research a little bit higher priority. Uh, nope. Oh, we do. We can mine, actually. Look at that. We don't even need to give them, like, a special tool. They're just going ahead and digging a... Oh, man, they're digging a good hole. That's a nice little pit they've built there already. What are we going to do with that pit, aside from fall into it? Robert Briggs' mining skill is now level one. Good job, everybody. Good job. Hunt, construct, grow, harvest, mine, cut plants, cooking. Nobody's an especially good cook. Make their smithing a little bit higher. Raven, you're not really good at a lot, buddy. I mean, you can do research, but you're not as good at research as Shas is. Uh, you can do carpentry. Make that slightly higher for you. And, uh, I'm not clear what all the different things are. Oh, I see. Tending is for medicine. Convalescent while wounds heal. <laughs> Let's do that. When you guys get hurt, please go lay down. Construction skill of 10. Let's give you some priority there. I don't know. We'll have to sort that out later. When I figure out a little bit more about how they how they do everything in this game. Oh, I wonder if my fire goes out when it's raining. <laughs> it does seem a little wet over here. The sand. Could always use that pit to throw our enemies in. I mean, when our people die, well, we got we gotta have a place to put them, right? I mean, we could build unmarked graves, or we could just throw them in the big pit hole we've created. They also prioritize the jobs from left to right, based on what they're doing. So, like, I've got uh, mining over here is ahead of most of these other types of activities. I don't think you can like shift them around though. No. So they're all focused on the mining just because of where it falls in the order of work. I guess we could do, uh, let's make a Shaft's priority four for mining, and then the other two will make a priority two. Oh wait, priority one's done first, five's done last. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we wanna, we wanna go the other way with that. Priority four, make this priority two, priority two. There we go. Get the order of things done a little bit better here. I do my harvesting. Defenses, perhaps? Yeah, well, we will need some defenses. Uh, I'm not really sure where to put them exactly. So we can put them around our, our stockpile area, but. Nope, Shas is in there doing research finally. That's good. Good job, buddy. I don't really know how the raids work just yet. We haven't seen a raid. Um, so, under... Here's the, the warfare defenses here. We do a stick trap. Sharpened stakes are laid, ready to skewer unfortunate victims. That sounds great. We give them, like, a little palisade. It's not even a palisade. It's just, like, a little... Little spiky things. Let's do that around our fire pit. This will be where we take cover when uh, when stuff comes to attack. Everyone, defend the fire. Forget the buildings, defend the fire! <laughs> I have no idea what good that's gonna be. <laughs> Put some stick traps in here, I wanna see, what, what do we do when we do a stick trap? Nobody walk on that. It'd probably be bad. We'll do the same thing over here. So hopefully if they come to attack us, they'll try to come through this way. What does that mean? We, we eat our enemies? I don't know if you can cannibalize your enemies. Uh, I mean, you could in RimWorld. I don't, I don't know about it in this one, though. On oh, the reset camera button. Looking for that earlier. Oh, look at that. They're playing backgammon while, while Shaz is over here working, doing his research. I 
Hopefully they're not getting all upset at me. Chas Amer, intellectual skill, now level five. He's braining up. Having the best defense is a good offense. Well, they all have weapons at least, so that's something. Uh, what do we got here on our stock? I don't, the grid on the stockpile is a little annoying. Tiny wood pile. Ten simply healing kits. Five mechanical component pile. Uh, maybe I should build a roof over this storage area I've got. Maybe I'll relocate the storage back a little bit so it lines up with some other stuff. So let's do, uh, we'll do a wall here. Do one back here. We'll do the same kind of thing we did for our dining space. We'll give this like a covered... Oop, auto saving. Give us like a covering kind of thing. Clap. Clap. There we go. Uh, and then I need to... My dumping ground. How do I... Can I just tell them to cancel this stuff there? Nope, that doesn't work. How do I deselect you from being a thing? Shrink zone. There we go. Uh, shrink it by that? Oh, that's not too bad. Add another uh, default stockpile over here. If I can actually get this to line up right. There we go. And then we will shrink zone again by shrinking this side. There. Put it all into cover, people. There. Perfect. Why is the zone so awkward sized? I don't know. It's just the way I made it. I just randomly drew it around where the stuff was already sitting. The spike traps here. I wonder if the enemies will walk on the spike traps. Or if they'll just know that they're there and avoid them. Uh, we apparently need to cut down more trees. Give me the woods. Must have all the woods, people. All the woods. Let the trees regrow. <laughs> We're cutting them all down. Oh, what is this? Looks like an old quarry over here. Okay, who needs to be doing uh, tree chopping a little bit more? Harvesting crops, fields, and wilderness. That's for botany. But where's the... Cut plants, I guess? Botany skill 16, skill 11, skill 10. Alright. Robert, your primary job ahead of mining should be to cut trees. Hopefully that works. I don't know where he is. He's right there. Stop mining, buddy. Well rested, moo neutral, not hungry. That's good. They seem to be reasonably okay. Oh, I can banish them. <laughs> you can draft them. In the oh, see, look, it's the same thing as RimWorld. You got to draft them into into fighting. It seems. How do you move the villagers? I would like to join. How do you get more villagers? I don't know how we get more villagers just yet. Still really early into the game of figuring things out as we go, uh, and that's not something I've figured out. <laughs> yeah, is doing a good job of the research. Let's see what we got here. 21 available now. We could do agriculture, clay brick making, stone block cutting, wooden weaponry. Um, let's do agriculture. I kind of want to be able to plant some farm crops. We'll unlock that. We need to stockpile food for when winter comes around, I would imagine. Otherwise, our people are all dead. Dead, I say! Look at all these berries. Like, why, why haven't they put all these things in storage yet? I guess maybe it's gotta be like have to do with their job priority. Harvest mine, cut plants, cooking. Whoops! Oh! Hey, look at that! <laughs> it seems we found how to get a new settler. <laughs> new settler, lost property. Appearing deranged at first, Rykeld was simply overcome with terror. Pitiful, stumbling corpse with wheels from binding and harsh beatings by a cruel master. Rykeld begged, hide me! I'll die if I'm caught! Settler slammed the door shut, leaving Rykeld like side, or... Tywardreth's inhabitants decided to help her. Once we got this as consequences, I think. Rykeld White. 
Expect a possible attack in a couple of days from forest bandits if we let them in. Some something like a negative mood modifier. Let's go ahead and take. Uh, we'll take this person in. Welcome, Raikou, to our place of abundance and wonderfulness. Uh, you can do tailoring, I guess. We'll focus on that. Chats with the super chat. Please name a settler. Dupe, <laughs> Dupe McDuke face. I mean, Raikou seems like a, a reasonable one to rename. Uh. How do I rename Rykeld White? I don't know if I can rename them now. We could we could rename the original ones, but <laughs> the first thing they did was we're going eat. <laughs> Bring forth the bandits. We have spikes. <laughs> we got a couple spike traps. We uh, probably aren't going to do too well on them, but no, I'm going to need another bed. Rykeld stole someone's bed. Wow. Learn your boundaries, buddy. Um. All right, give you a hay sleeping spot too. When everyone goes to lay down, they're probably gonna want a place to sleep. Oh, uh, I should probably put light in here too, right? Source of light in the darkness. They might be happier if they had lights in here. I'm gonna guess. Anything within here? Give them lights. Lights to see by. I don't know how many lights they need. The other one over here. There we go. If they're, that way, if they're doing research at night, they can still see. Hopefully. Let her, sit, let her earn her keep, then send her bander back to the bandits. <laughs> like, I tell you what. If you make us 400 pieces of leather armor, you can stay. And then just, like, kick them out. Hmm. Tutorial on equipment. Uh, to prepare your settlers, equip them with armor, clothing, and weapons. Click the settler and uh, right click on an item in order to equip them. Tip Examine which of your settlers is proficient in melee or ranged weapons to equip accordingly. We already did that. Defense Use structures like Merlin's to your advantage uh, to cover your archers from enemy projectiles. Place archers on higher ground so they get a buff in precision, range, and critical hit chance. Oh. I see. Place tra traps strategically around to weaken your enemies. I wonder if my uh, wonder if my people can accidentally trigger the uh, the traps. That'd be funny. Plan for uh, I don't know. I don't know where to put traps. This was pretty much a wasted uh, wasted little build over here. I, I could do like a second floor building or something maybe, and or give them like a def like a guard tower. That might be cool. What would it take to build a guard tower? So if we do uh, wooden straight stairs, how big are those? Rotate that around. Like so. And then uh, we'll just do like... No. No. Cancel. Make it a little bit bigger. Uh, I wonder if they'll walk on top of the walls if I just go like this. No. That probably wasn't what I wanted. Cancel. And then, can I do, like, wooden flooring on top of this? Oh, I can. Look at that. It'll be like our little mini, little mini, uh, little mini guard tower. We can put our archer up there or whatever. Um... Then we're gonna want some uh, wooden merlins around here as defense. I rotate those. <laughs> it's not pretty, but hopefully it works. <laughs> Give them a slight height advantage anyway. Merlin's just like Merlin. Uh, you mean to cast spells? Jazz went up in intellect again. Getting brainier all the time. Uh, we only have 12 available. How are we doing here? Like, what have I got this queued up to do? 25. Alright, we'll see what happens when they're done. <laughs> it's cool how it builds up. Again, no wedgies. Is 
The Merlins are a bit weird. Like, look at the, uh, there's like a little angled wooden piece underneath them when they build them. Because the floor is not done? I wonder. Oh no, it actually does show up in here. Oh. Could have done those like off the side of it, it looks like almost. Instead of like through the floor. See, can I build these off the side of this thing? Yep. <laughs> totally could have. <laughs> Although, it looks like it's a bit tricky. Oh, there we go. Alright, I did these wrong. Alright, let's, uh, let's deconstruct these ones. Oh, I broke the floor because it actually replaced the flooring piece. That's not good. Build multiple crafting benches? I don't even have the crafting bench. All I have is the uh, the research bench right now. So I have a butchering table and I have a research bench. We don't have uh, we don't have actual crafting benches. That game and table. I think I actually I need to get like uh, I just need to get it unlocked or something. Um, okay, let's uh, fix the floor here. So, and then I'll fix my defensive defensive Merlins. <laughs> it's kind of a weird setup. I can't do like corner pieces, so I don't know like how I'm supposed to like, like protect that part, but Whatever, it's fine, I guess Um, maybe we'll do like one more this way There Hooray! Hopefully I actually get to use that thing <laughs> all this here. Iron nugget piles. We're gonna need to like get, get to the point where we can do a forging. Okay, in our research bench we can get to brewing furniture, clay brick making, uh how do I, I can't scroll this over oh there we go. Defensive structures too. We've got cooking, armoring, tailoring, blacksmithing down here. That would be good. Weaponry fletching. <laughs> I wonder if I have any arrows for my bow. <laughs> I don't even know if I do. Let's do tailoring though. We can get them some better clothing. We have a lady that does tailoring too. That um, new person that joined. And then uh, I guess we'll do. Yeah, keep going until I have twenty-five. Just that's good. As we use it up, we'll make more. Very good, my little people. Very good. Uh, got room for a farmer's crop back here now. We got these berry bushes in the way though. I don't know if I should chop those down. Harvest all this stuff. Give me all that fancy hay. This says spring, though. Spring is sprung, the grass is green. I wonder where the bandit's been. Go, Merlin. Go, Merlin. <laughs> You can make corner pieces just like variant. Oh, was there one there? Oh, there was two. All right. <laughs> Deconstruct. I knew that. I was totally paying attention. Corner. Boom. Much better. Thank you. Should have been paying more attention. Careful harvesting stuff before it's ripe. Um, how can I tell? red granite pile ripe these ones are ripe seems like they're ripe harvest I feel like I should I just, like set a priority thing on these things 
Default stockpile, flimsy, flawless quality. Um, so, I guess maybe I would just have to like, someone would need a job for hauling things, I guess. Income less, hunt, construct, grow, harvest, mine, cut plants, cooking, craft, smithing, tailing, research, steward, haul. Taking care of basics like locking doors, closing windows, extinguishing torches. Well, let's set all those up for... Everybody... Oh, wait, I gotta go the other way. Everybody do those with a little higher degree of imports. Uh, and let's get this Rykeld uh, focused on carrying things around. Because they're not doing anything useful anyway. Maybe they can start to put some of these things away we've been harvesting. Enemies are coming in five hours. So Idle Villager isn't really a thing. They're always constantly doing something. I mean, as long as I give them a job, they are, yeah. Um, so, like, if there's things to pick up, they'll go do it. Um, theoretically, they, like, if I, I could have no tasks set for them, in which case uh, it would become more of a more of a deal. Um, make, that, make that allowable. Okay, we need this corner piece on here. Bap. Oh, the corner pieces are neat. They stick up a little higher. Those are cool. With my luck, I've got the, the spike traps here. The uh, enemies will come from the other way. I wonder if my people get spiked if they go over their own traps. This seems like something we're going to need to do for science. Not because we have to, but just because we can. Space already occupied. Oh, that was the uh, plant thing here. Uh, what's the deal with these flowers? Oh, they're herbs. Current growth phase, ripe. All right. Harvest them, suckers. Give them herbs. Maybe we could do some better cooking if we got some herbs around. Uh, I do want to do a farmer's field, but I'll wait until the, uh, wait until the raiders have come and attacked already. Don't want them burning my crops down or something. Yeah, right. Cryptic science demands it. See, I put the spikes in. I'm curious to see whether they'll hurt themselves. I have a feeling they won't, but I guess we'll see. Enemies are coming. It's imminent. Uh, where's Robert? Robert, you've been you've been drafted. Congratulations, buddy. Um, I want you to be on aggressive. Oh, maybe that's not a thing anymore. Uh, and I want you specifically. No, I don't want to banish you, but I want you to come up here. Get up there. Rabid, you've been recruited too, buddy. Get in there. Uh, Rykel doesn't have a weapon, so... I don't know what to do with you. I guess we'll recruit you and send you here. Oh, raid. Violent extortionist lost property. The brute spoke soft but menacing. Rykel belongs to me. Hand over my slave or you will all suffer. They were deadly serious. Towers of Fenton defenders, uh, sorry, settlers, refused to bow to the assailant's demands. Surrendered Rykeld back to those hunting her. <laughs> All right. Blip. Uh, we took up arms. Make ready for battle. Okay, that's, that's oh, there they are. Control your settlers directly. Draft them by selecting them. Clicking on the draft action. Tip. You can select multiple settlers and then draft them. There's a settler panel on the left to yada yada yada. Positioning and movement. Drafted settler will go where you tell them to and will attack uh, who you tell them to attack. Right click anywhere to order settlers to go to that position. We already figured that out. Tip during combat, an archer will shoot anybody within their range, while a melee settler will wait until the enemy comes closer or attacks them. Place archers on higher ground in order for them to get a buff in precision range and critical hit chance. Okay. We got that figured out. Here they come. They're coming. They're coming. Uh, we need uh, we need Shaz to be recruited too. We'll send him in here. So we're gonna get all of our melee weapon people, all two of them, to hang out in here. And we'll let the enemy come to us, and then maybe uh, maybe Robert here will pick some off with his bow when they come in range. And he's got the added defensive area there too, so hopefully he doesn't die. Maybe he'll even earn some some points and it's so fast. Uh, you guys attack? Oh, there they are. Enemies have started their attack. A mask on this guy. Isn't that cool? 
Twin Blade's on with Super Chat. Just popping in to send my regards. Have a good one, Fox. Well, thanks, Twin Blade. This guy's got a like a club or something. Ooh, he's got an axe. I want that guy's axe. We don't have metal metal tools on our people yet. We just got like cheap wooden ones. We're still living like the the epically un, under underprepared life. Oh god, don't come up the stairs. I think I might have found a flaw in my plan. Ah, I found a flaw in my plan. <laughs> All right, Robert. Uh. Yeah, get down here. Oh wait, Candy's injured. Uh. Ah, uh, all right, Chas, go get this guy. Oh, that didn't work. That's not good. I, I guess I guess Robert can't shoot them at close range, which you know makes perfect sense because he's got a bow. Uh, oh god, Chas is getting stabbed in the back. No, oh, this is all going downhill fast. No, oh, that's right. Poke him a few times. Oop, one down. <laughs> My people are gonna be hurt. We're gonna need like uh, we're gonna need like a hospital service. <laughs> this whole bow thing didn't work. I guess uh, it helps when you have like actual walls. Victory! The beleaguered settlers came under attack in the spring of 1353. Their ordeal continued for three hours. Mercifully, all, sur all settlers survived the raid. Two sworn enemies died during the fight. Shass was the bravest of the settlers, dealing the most blows to the foe. Uh, Shass also took the most damage from the enemy, thinking only of defending uh, the place in its hour of need. They're still killing this guy! He's like, I give up! I s oh, why? Oh, no, Shass is unconscious. Get him, rabbit dog. They said we won already. Get him, Robert. Shoot that guy. He needs to die. Why is Reichold running after them? Reichold's like, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. She's gonna punch him to death. There we go. Okay, we've got uh, we have we have minor problems. We've got a, we've got a corpse here. <laughs> we uh, I need to unrecruit my people. Uh, you're all undrafted. Well, Chas still has hit points. He's well rested though, because he's unconscious. He's getting a good sleep up here on our guard tower. That's good. Not very nice. Uh, let's make it so they can pick up all this stuff. Pick up all that. Let's do. Uh, well, they can just stick it in the normal stockpile, I guess, for now. I don't know what to do with the bodies. We're gonna need to bury those. I'm guessing. Let's um, let's build some unmarked graves back here because. These people don't deserve the graves that are marked. Unmarked graves. I thought I would be using these for my own people first. Who knew I would actually get to bury enemies first? Eat the bodies! We're not eating the bodies! <laughs> Red currant has rotted on the stockpile. Oh, that's not good. Uh, huh. I'm gonna have to find a way to preserve stuff better. Okay, how do I, uh, how do I get somebody, you know what, I need, uh, somebody with, um, nobody is good with convalescence, okay. Tend. Here, you go on attending. Get your medicine go. Medicine two. Medicine zero. Medicine one. Medicine eight. Psh, Robert, you're, you're our fancy tender, buddy. Gotta give Shas that tender, loving care over here. Already one. All right, he's bleeding. <laughs> He's like, don't worry, I'll take care of him. I'll try not to bleed on him while I'm at it. Oh, where's he taking him? Oh, he's leaving a trail of blood behind. <laughs> All that good meat wasted. We haven't put them in the ground yet. But we will. Oh, it just that's right, just lobs him on the bed. He's not even sleeping on the bed. He's like partly on the floor. That is the worst tending I've ever seen, buddy. Oh, he's gonna get medicine. Oh, see, aren't you sweet? Now he's getting he's getting cared for. I need to make like a little uh little medical facility. Probably we'll need to make like a jail cell and stuff too, I guess. Uh flimsy leather winter clothes. Flimsy wool winter clothes. I don't even know what my people are wearing right now. What on earth do you have on? Uh good linen winter clothes, okay. 
Minus 19 to plus 1, and this thing is what? Minus 18 to plus 1. So the stuff we have is actually better. Flimsy iron hatchet. What's this? Flimsy savage wood mask. <laughs> I don't know what to do with those terrible armor pieces. Oh, they did bury them. Unmarked grave. Enemy corpse. Uh, let's not put our settlers in here. We'll, we'll, we'll just put em enemies in the enemies in the unmarked graves. They did a good. Well, they, they buried those people quick. Good work. Who's gonna take care of Robert? He's like bleeding out here. How about you? Uh, you go on the tending job too. Somebody take her, Robert. There we go. I wonder how long that's going to take to heal. Can you have the wood mask? Uh, sure. After you finish healing Robert, you can have it. See what you like. What, look like walking around with a flimsy wood mask on. Um, where did the mask go? Oh, they moved it. Um, there it is. Hit points. 12 of 51. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of damaged already, but you can equip it anyway. Congratulations, Rabbit. You've got a nasty wood mask. I, I still want to figure out how to rename people that... There should be a way to rename them. I'm thinking. How do I rename you? I want to change your name. Skills biography. Maybe you can change it in here. There, there it is. Okay, who wants to be Rykeld? Uh, oh, wait. This needs to be Doopy McDoopface. Doopy McDoop face. There we go. Herp, 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 derp. Oh, there's Rabbit with his mask on. <laughs> That's a terrible mask. And he's chopping his hand off again. So wrong. Convalescence is all about them resting when they get hurt. So, um... No, actually, let's make these all party one. When you get hurt, you should probably rest. <laughs> Get uh, get your recovery back, and then once they're recovered, they're gonna go. Um, nobody's really taking care of Shas, but hopefully they'll recover while they're in there. Shas is my research dude too. Like he's not he's not earning research points for me. So right now we're uh, we're slacking off on learning the new new things. Can somebody please haul these things over? Oh, this one's got better hit points. Hold on, let's, um, where's Rabbit? That mask he's got on. There we go. There, and then, um, somebody, uh, Doopy McDoopface. Here, you prioritize hauling these things to the stockpile. Can I actually click on, can I control click on them and have them? I don't know. Pick that junk up. Like a convalescent home. I heard the term, but never knew what it was. Yeah, it's uh, where you like hang out to recover. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Not enough resources. Okay, that's fine. I'm not worried about that. We uh, only killed the one deer already. Um, is this stuff? Oh my god, we've got alcohol! Inside spare room. Default stockpile too, so this would be our uh, food storage. Does that work? Info. Food storage. Yeah, there we go. Can't rename things. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. Oh, what's this? Production. Ooh, we can make a sewing station now. Uh. That thing's big. Okay, we're gonna need we're gonna need like a proper crafting area here, I think. A place where they can make stuff and things. Um maybe we'll set it up over here on the other side of this thing here. Um Give them some proper walls, I guess. They might want windows, I guess. They might they might be happier if they can actually see the outdoors. Uh wooden window. And we'll just put two for there for now. 
That's gonna need some wooden flooring. Oh, actually, wicker floor. Floor fashion with sticks can be used as a platform for a second floor. Uh, natural limestone makes for a slightly uneven but very tough surface. I mean, I don't really care about that. Let's just do wooden. We'll just go wooden floor. And then we need, of course, a roof on here. Roof needs two or more points to rest on to be placed. What? I, can I not build two or more points? What did I make? <laughs> I did something wrong. Oh wait, or maybe I just have a view like cut away somewhere. Oh, there we go. Okay, fine. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, did I not like? Uh, okay. Okay, and then in this room, we'll put our little sewing machine. Isn't really all that small, but uh, where did it go? Sewing station. There. Be a little crafting space. Rabbit was making a lecter stew from Hannibal's book of stews and brews. <laughs> so you mean to tell me crap hasn't gone sideways? What is this, backwards? Uh, well, I mean, we did get attacked by raiders, and so people got hurt. But yeah, nothing's uh, nothing's crashed and burned just yet. <laughs> It'll get to the point where we start getting, like, regular attacks from raiders and things, and that's when things will start to get messier, I think. I wonder if they, if you put a door on something, if it's, like... Inherently locked when a raider attacks. What else have we got that we can research here? Oh, cabbage field. There we go. So I can find different types of crops. We can do cabbage, we can do flax, carrot fields, beet fields, barley field uses feed to fatten poultry uh herbs plants gathered from nature many flavored for healing etc etc so we should probably do two fields maybe we should do uh the humblest of warts and staple food a crop to sow all year round all right let's do a let's do a cabbage field over here somewhere i guess we'll, we'll define this as a cabbage field and then we should probably do oh what else have we got here Red currant shrub, don't care about those. Tall grass, birch tree. Oh, we can plant more trees. Okay, we'll do uh, we'll do some herbs here because we'll need those for like medicines and such. Beet field, colorful taproot that's delicious to eat can also be stored to enjoy later. Carrots are probably a good option. Let's get some carrots in here too. Okay. Feel like if we're gonna have farmers fields, I don't know if the animals become an issue, so we might want to put a fence around it. If you like it, then you should have put a fence around it. That's what I heard. Let's start with a corner piece. Like so. <laughs> so far out, I can't even see what I'm doing here. Uh, more fence. There we go. Hopefully that works. Find out soon enough, I guess. Speed up time a bit here. New research to unlock. Um, oh yeah, Shas is up and working again. Good job, Shas. You did that whole healing thing, just like a person who was healing. <laughs> uh, we only have five points available to spend, so we're kind of a pretty way, pretty far way off of doing that. We can make caps and winter clothes and summer clothes in the sewing station, so that's good. Oh, you know what? We didn't make any enough seats for uh, for everyone to sit down and eat either. Let's maybe uh, maybe take care of that. I want everyone to be comfortable at our tiny little table. Research weapons soon. Yeah. 
I gotta earn the uh, points to do the research first. Late arrival here, but how RimWorld-like is this? Has the cannibalism and organ harvesting started? <laughs> so far, it's very RimWorld-like. Like, very RimWorld-like. Um, it's much, it's more 3D, because like you can zoom in and see all the cool stuff. You can get actually really close in, which I really like. Um, but so far, most of the elements have a very, very, very RimWorld feel. Including, like, the way that you draft people in order to do combat and everything. Uh, I haven't seen any cannibalism, but then again, the people that we killed, we buried out here in the field, so... Um, it might be possible to butcher them. <laughs> Didn't really look in here to see what, what this qualified as meat, but, uh... I'm kind of curious what we can use here for, for materials to, to, to chop up. I need to figure out how to store things without it going bad, too. Um, obviously, we can't build refrigeration because it's the Middle Ages. Medieval times and what such, what not, but um, we might be able to... Uh, we might be able to build, like, a cellar or something underneath a building and then store in there, possibly. I'm not really sure. I did food storage in here, but I don't know if that keeps it safe or not. And how do I... I'm gonna stop viewing these, uh... No, that's not what I want. No. No. Oh. We can, uh, expand it a little bit. So we got materials, textbook, or textiles, books. Ooh, books. 60 books, you say. I've got all the floors selected in here. I don't know how to unselect those. <laughs> Oh, they can research smoking and salting and hopefully some kind of cellar. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Um, we're still really early on in the research. We've only, we've just started to research, uh, want to do like crops and stuff. And actually, I don't have anyone focused on, focused on growing things. Botany 17. You know what? With that 17 botany. Although Shas has a, no, Shas is doing our research. Let's get, uh, we got Robert working on, uh, he can do like the harvesting and the growing and stuff. Take, put his botany skills to good use, hopefully. Research, we're 12 points we got to spend, so not much we can do there. Might have to flip down a wooden weaponry soon. I've got something selected here that's like highlighting all the spaces, and I don't really want it to. <laughs> I don't know what I did that, I, that marked it that way. Look on someone to unselect the floors? Maybe. It doesn't even seem like it's the floor, it's. Nope. Just look the chest. It, oh, cabbage is rotted on the stockpile. Ah! Stop making things rot. <laughs> I cannot figure out how to unselect the floors <laughs> or the rooms. I guess it is like it's showing. It's highlighting all the areas. There's got to be an overlay. Oh, room type legend. No room types found of this type. Kitchen. Oh, oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, click the selector room of this type. Knives, glints, it must have at least one stove, two wall pottery shelf, one brushing table. Okay, so you can define the different rooms by putting different things in them. Workshop have, must have at least one armorer's table, bower's table, blacksmith forge, stone mason bench, or sewing station, at least uh, two tall. The so workshop I have in progress. It says I have no, no room type workshop, but we'll get there. Cabbage rotted. How could one tell? It, and now we have sauerkraut. Oh, that's, that's pickled, actually. Um, Church of Restitution Chapel. We can make Oak Brethren Temple. We can make a bedroom. Cannot have any other workstation, shrines, or beds. So I, I think I need to move the research station because this isn't defined as a bedroom. It's a spare room because of this stupid research table. Let's put that over here. We can do like a two for one. They can do their research over here uh, in the same room that we're doing the sewing. Whenever they get it finished, that is. Kind of defining rooms like Oni style. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, like you meet the conditions and it turns it into that type of a room. Um, but again, I, I still, I don't know how to unselect the... I've got, a, I've got it currently displaying all of the defined areas and I don't know how to turn that off. Oh, wait. Boom, found it. Nope, that wasn't it. Show colored grid overlay for zones. 
I thought that was it, but it still got my floor selected. I wonder if that's just a bug or if I'm doing... Oh. Show overlay of rooms detected. There we go. Found it. Wait, research and bedrooms should go hand in hand. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, I guess not. <laughs> Funny, Rashas is like, I'm still researching here. Nobody break my table. Why are they storing all the food out here? This, oh shoot, that's what's going wrong. This uh, this section of floor here, I must have done it wrong. I, I had meant to tell them to expand it, but it actually defined it as a separate stockpile. We don't want that. We um, actually apparel can be out here, but I want I don't want food or carcasses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, you know, I thought this was going to be like Rimworld, but with less cannibalism, but it looks like it has equal opportunity for cannibalism. <laughs> so at some point in the future, my people will certainly be eating people because that's what, that's what you do in games like this. You have to eat the people. Otherwise, you're not really playing the game, are you? Okay, uh, I want to see... How did I get that interface? Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, so Church of the Christ, um, library, workshop. Oh, library. At least one basic research table, research table, advanced research table, two bookshelves. Can't have any other... Oh. <laughs> so about this table we just built. Apparently, everything's got to have its own spot. So that's not a thing we can do. We got to like have a, a separate research room. that they call uh, a library. Stockpiling is stockpiles. That's right. That's what we're doing. Uh, and there's still... Shas, how about you stop doing that? Spare room. Great hall. Ooh, great hall. Place for tales and music. Uh, let's see. Must have at least one wooden table medium. Wooden table large, quality table, etc., etc. At least six wooden chairs or stools. At least eight banner wall mediums cannot have wooden hay bed, blah, 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 blah. Every meal tastes a bit nicer when eaten in the Great Hall. A positive mood modifier is gained after each meal. So it does actually give you a small positive modifier for bedrooms. Shared, oh, this would be a shared bedroom, I guess. Whoever sleeps here enjoys the peace and quiet of their own quarters. I guess I should, uh, at some point we'll expand so that we actually give everyone their own bedroom because it looks like there's a benefit to having that. As one would expect, I guess. That's it. Break that table. No more research for you. Busted. Um, I want to expand this room, but the roof is kind of weird. Can't just expand the roof. And I don't want to wreck these berry bushes, because that's a pretty good source of food, I think, right there. Maybe we'll do like a, just a little library over here. You need meat for a villager. <laughs> Every village needs a meep. All right, just a little, just a little library space here. Uh, let's see. We need a wooden door. Gonna need some windows. There we go. A floor in here, I guess, and then um, basic research table. Put that in front of the windows. Look at that. You like a little bit of sunshine while you're busy focusing on your researches. Uh, I don't know if there's any benefits of giving them light. I wasn't clear on that when I looked at it. Wooden torch. Hard skill zero. Hit points ten. Thermal insulation zero. Heat output one fifty. Structural dimensions not really. We can mount them on the wall though. You get a like, wall sconces. That's cool. We'll do two of these in here. Again, I don't know whether it gives them any benefit to actually have the light in there, but I figure it's got to be better than being in the dark. Seems like a nice Oni slash uh, Rimworld mix for the rooms. Yeah, I like that. Like, you don't have to define the room as a room. You just build it in the way that turns it into that type of room. It's kind of neat. I'm good with that.
to build the way over here. Okay, so this is uh, this is now our proper tailoring place, I guess. Um, let's give them some light in here too. That's probably good. Again, I don't know if lights are necessarily required by the game, but probably better than not having them. We need a door here. What happened here? How do we end up without a door? Oh, you know what? I didn't. E <laughs> I never gave this person a schedule. They haven't been taking any leisure time. <laughs> Just match them all up. They do it all at the same time. Why are they working? What time of day is it right now? 2200 hours. It's supposed to be their leisure time. I've decided for leisure they're gonna do farming. That's uh... Okay. You know, to each their own I guess. I guess it's relaxing maybe. <clears throat> for science, will my lights burn my huts down? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. They're, they're torches, so I'm... I'm you know, it's an open flame. You'd think there'd be some possibility of that, but it doesn't look like it. What if I can do roadways? That's neat. We should build a two-story house. We can do, like, uh, a kitchen on the lower level or something, or, like, the dining hall on the lower level and, like, sleeping quarters upstairs. They're all sort of not happy. They're not specifically unhappy, but they're not, you know, they're not happy either. They're e they're not even eating in the little dining area I gave them. <laughs> they're like eating in the, in the food storage spot. And they're back to the farming again. Who's building? Why are you all prioritizing doing the gardening? What's your jobs? Only one of them has growing harvest uh, prioritized. All right. Um, Rabbit has carpentry prioritized. Why, why isn't he hammering stuff? He's out here farming instead. All right. Whatever. Should be if you put uh, put a stool in front of research station, so you will work longer on it. Is that is that a thing? I mean, I don't even have a research station built right now, but um, it's, it's going to be built in here when they actually get around to building. Oh, you know what? Maybe they ran out of wood. That's probably why they're not doing what they what I want them to. They're all here farming because they're like, "There's no wood, you jerk." If you want us to to build things, you got to give us wood. Yeah, we're chopping trees now. We got it. <laughs> what are the room types over there here? So we had uh, the workshop, armor border, blacksmith, stonemason. What about the butchery table? What does that qualify? Is that like is that kitchen space? Bedroom, shared bedroom, great hall, spare room. No, kitchen is it's all about the stove. Oh, the butchering table. At least one butchering table. So I'd have to, like, have the butchering table in the kitchen area. Stoves and butchering tables boost production speed. I guess over top of the, uh, instead of having an, like an open fire to cook on. <laughs> I feel like my defensive tower needs work, though. <laughs> it, did, it didn't do any good defending. I don't want somebody to go hunting. Let's see. What happens if we hunt you? That's probably good for increasing our bow skill, right? Plus we get rabbit. I don't know if anyone's going to do that, though. I have. I think Robert's the only one I have like keyed up for hunting, because he's got the bow. Nobody's cutting trees. They're all farming. Jobs. Cut plants. Cutting plants and chopping trees. Uh, so we got Robert prioritized on that. Let's do... Uh, let's go this way. We'll do... Uh, Doopy McDoop face and Rabbit can prioritize cutting plants down too. 
Oh, he's hunting. Get that bunny. Get him. Ah, oh, I gotta work on her aim there, buddy. Oh, did they get away? Oh, they all ran. <laughs> the rabbits are like, that's it, we're out of here. Better beds equals better sleep equals happier people. I 100% believe you, but we haven't got the research yet to do that. Uh, I'm, I'm building a library so that we have a proper spot. Um, this room should be defined as... Oh, I've got the backgammon table in here. I wonder if that's stopping it from being a bedroom. Shared bedroom. No other workstation shreds are... So I guess this, this, this backgammon table in here can't be here. Uh, but we could put it in here. Look at this little dining area. There we go. Now that it's broken, we have a shared bedroom. So that will help a little bit with a small morale boost when they go to bed at night. Okay. Uh, let's cue this up. Keep doing it until we have 40. I don't know. We have 22 to work with right now, so we can do preserving food seems like a good option. Uh, I do want to get to the weaponry and stuff too, but let's go with preserving food. So we can make a smokehouse. Oh, cool. Smoked meat. Let's unlock that. Okay. Smokehouse. Building to hang and uh, hang meat and cure it with a smoke from an open fire. Now, the trouble is that's not going to help with... Uh, Fruits and vegetables, but, um, you know, it's nothing better than nothing, I guess. That over here. Got maybe a couple of them going. So, if, if, uh, if Robert ever successfully shoots something with that bow, we'll have, uh, have a place we can smoke the meat and try to make it uh, better shape. Oh, look, somebody's happy. Smoke the berries? Yeah, can't go wrong with smoked berries, man. Bunnies were scary, you had to run away. They took off so fast, they were like Vorpal bunnies or something. I was like, I'm not messing with that. Where is Robert? Oh, he's hunting right now. Let's uh, let's follow him. All the, the intrepid adventures of Robert, who's not happy about hunting, by the way. Pew. Oh, we got one! Good job, Robert. Smoked it with the bow so we could later smoke it with the smoker. He's sleep. He's tired, too. <laughs> Everybody's going to sleep, except for the wood choppers over here. That's right, Doopy McDoop face. Chop them trees. We're going to need a lot of them for all the game you're bringing in. Remember that little rabbit? <laughs> Smoking all the little rabbits there. <laughs> I mean, we're at, there's a lot of stuff in our stockpile here, but I guess uh, if we wanted to use it more logically, we could try to, like, split up what we have stored in here. Ooh, man, hit points. I wonder if these things have to be an enclosed room to stop them from breaking down. I, I'm, I think I can... Um, I'm going to put the healing stuff in here, because it seems to be like they're going to need it when they're on the bed anyway, so they'll have less distance to go to get it. So if we do a default stockpile right here... And then we define this so that it only has uh, medical stuff on it. Uh, so let's see, textiles, no, materials. Simple healing kits. Regular healing kits, advanced healing kits. So if we put all those there, and then we say that this one over here can't have those. Same thing with this. There we go. So now they'll have the uh, they'll have the healing kit stored in the place where they're going to be using them in the in the actual bedroom area. And I don't think it affect it'll affect the room type because it's not like a piece of equipment. We'll find out soon enough. As soon as they put them in there, I guess I'll know. But um, I don't think it will wreck the room type. Are there chickens so we can smoke chicken again? There are. Yeah. Um, there's actually one of the crops that you can grow says that it's specifically for feeding chickens. I guess that's a thing we can do.
Die, rabbit, die. Get in my belly. The only happy person I think right now is Shas. He's like, I've just been hanging out here, reading books and stuff, pretending like I'm knowledgeable. Wow, that was a good shot. <laughs> the bunny's running away. Get him. Get him, Robert. Oh, you missed again. <laughs> Clearly, you need to work on that aim a little bit. I mean, it's not surprising, though. Your skill was relatively low. So low, you can't even use the better bow. Wow. Oh, we found the mother load of bunnies. Uh, hold on. We need uh, hunting, and let's just hunt all of these. No, oh, got one. Animal handling skill now level four. I love how it, it like killing them improves animal handling. I'm not sure that's how that works. <laughs> Pretty sure animal handling is about keeping them alive, typically. Ooh, wait a minute. Why are we putting the hair carcasses here? That's no good. We want the hair carcasses in here. Uh, let's see. Have all those materials. Carcasses, animal carcasses. I don't want them over here though. So no deer carcass, hair carcass, or wolf carcass over here. Safe grounds for all the other dumping stuff though. They have bunnies rotting outside. That's no good. The only person we had doing butchering is the same guy that's out there butchering the animals in in real life over here, in the live ones and turning them into meat. Statistically guaranteed to hit one of them. Well, hopefully. Need to learn about animals as they hunt them to hunt them easier. I suppose, but, I mean, shooting a bow at a bunny doesn't necessarily mean you know more about the bunny. <laughs> I know exactly what it looks like when a bunny's pinned to the ground by my arrow. I have grown more knowledgeable because the bunny is stucketh to the groundeth. Let's see, uh, you know what, instead of butchering the bunny bunnies, well actually I think I, I'm gonna need to, I'm pretty sure it makes, oh yeah, resource one carcass and produces raw meat. Okay, so and then in here, let's smoke ourselves, I don't know, just forever. Smoke all the bunnies. So they'll have to chop the bunnies and then smoke them. Where do we keep the people carcasses? <laughs> That's our uh, our discard pile over here, but I've got, I've got a couple of them buried already. Two beat McDoofface, going after the smallest tree in the woods. Settlers are becoming annoyed. <laughs> it's rabid. Why are you upset at me? Ate at a table, hungry. Deprived of entertainment, deprived of religious activities. Eat raw food. Oh, is nobody cooking anymore? <laughs> I, I don't think anybody's cooking. Waiting for a worker. Uh, has anybody got a, like a primary cooking scenario going on here? Cut plants cooking. There we go. Uh, skill eight, two, four, six. All right, Doopy McDoop face. You can do some cooking. Anything to put, put the better foods in my stomachs. Help, help, I'm feeling repressed. You saw him repressing me, didn't you? Put me in there, I want to die in the game, of course. <laughs> Alright, Eric. <laughs> I don't know, uh, I guess it's just through random events that we get more people, unless I can give them private rooms and they can start to reproduce on their own. But I don't know how that'll work. I mean, I think it's gonna pop out as like fully, fully grown workers, because <laughs> I'm guessing not. At least one wouldn't think so. In the normal course of events. I feel like I don't like my layout here. I kind of wish I had done like a multi-floor like tavern kind of thing. 
Instead of doing like a bunch of separate little buildings, I should have just done one big building. I want to add more entertainment or leisure stuff. Yeah, there's not much though right now. I've, they've got like the backgammon, but I could do uh, I could do like a, a, a church shrine thing. Uh, but in order to do that, uh, I do need to know what their religious preferences are here. Entertainment needs fulfilled. Tipsy, drank good ale, moderately tired, deprived of religious activities. I fear I'm losing faith, faltering in my devotion. I must pray, I must atone. Instruct temples, chapels, and give your settlers sufficient leisure hours to fulfill their religious needs. Um, but I don't know what religion they need per se. Inventory, there's two religions in the game, basically. Mood, health. I mean, I don't think I'm even, even legally allowed to ask what their religious preferences are. Lacking 40% to prime, 20%. The amount of religious activities uh, settlers aligned farther from the center will need religious activities more often. This is not met, the settlers will be unhappy. No need for religious activities, 70%. Lacking 40% to prime, 20%. Uh... So I don't think I can actually tell what their preferences are. Background, he's a rustic monk. Robert liked to potter in the still room uh, with his salves and potions. He's brought to the hospital truly at the mercy of God, but Robert uh, liked to offer what little curative help he could to the suffering. And then I gave him a bow and told him to kill things. He was happy. <laughs> After the apocalypse, Robert learned to survive with forged head row. He can be up with dandelions. His eyes were painful hollows. Always hungry. All right, maybe it doesn't matter what religion I pick. We'll just give them one. Congratulations, everybody. You're now whatever this one is I told you to be. Did I overlap the roofs, I wonder? Nope. That would be a no. Uh, all right, so we'll need to do another wall here. We'll build ourselves a little little temple room. I don't know what's needed exactly in here, but I guess we'll find out. I wonder if they'd be satisfied if I just gave them a shrine out in the open. Okay. Here followers aligned with the Oak Brethren gather to pray. Here followers would line with the Church of Restitution gather to pray. Again, I don't know what religion these guys are. So I don't know which one I should give them. Crom worshippers would be neat. <laughs> All right, let's give them the uh, the shrine of the restitution, whatever. I don't think I need anything special for a great hall, spare bedroom, bedroom. Oh, oh, I do need special. Okay, so at least one shrine, at least two church of restitution wall decorations. Cannot have wooden oak brethren, stone oak brethren, and other workstations. Restitutions get positive mood modifiers when spending time here. Oak brethren less so. Oh, there's variants down here. Wooden restitution shrine. Or the stone one. Higher hit points. Higher value. I don't know what the differentiator there is exactly. Other than, like, looking cooler because it's made of stone. There's like no uh, no decorations over that, I don't think. These walls are thick, aren't they though? <laughs> Even my roof. There we go. Flimsy wool clothes have decomposed in the stockpile. Well, that's great. Um, so clearly, roof is not enough to keep them from decomposing here. Maybe I better give the stockpile walls. Um, okay, can I, let's build them in here. I'm trying to be all fancy by just using a roof to cover it, but I guess it's not gonna, not gonna work. I need... Frank zone. Bloop. Shrink zone. Okay, so they'll get around to moving that stuff, and then we can close it in. Mm -mm -mm. 
Built both next to each other. You've seen it in other streams. Yeah, I can see that. Um, the only thing is that all these berry bushes are kind of in the way. They're all ripe. You get sticks and red currants out of them. I guess, uh, well, let's cut them down. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Give me, uh, this. Cut all these down. We're gonna have to go anyway. Research is up to 23. Okay, so we can do uh, brewing, cooking. Oh, cooking would be nice because we can actually get kitchen stuff. Clay brick making, stone block cutting, smelting. Let's maybe look at wooden weapon, weaponry maybe. Actually, let's do, um. oh, clay brick making will give me the access to the kiln. We can make clay bricks and coal. Burns at a much higher temperature than lumber, most useful when creating steel. Oh, I'm going to need that, I guess. Stone blocks will give me the stonemason's bench. All right, let's get the uh, get the clay making, I guess. No, stop putting off weaponry. You don't need no stinking weapons. We got weapons. We stole them from the people we murdered. Doopy McDoopface was just playing backgammon by themselves. How was that a thing? What's lacking? What are you doing? Yeah, ooh, furniture. Okay, so we got the kill now. Special oven for creating ceramics, bricks, and tiles from clay. Uh, I don't know where to put it, but we'll put it over here by the smoker because why not? Oh wait, actually, um, does I have to go in a particular type of room? Library. I guess it'd be a workshop type. At least. Or Fletcher, Forge, Workbench, Stonemason's Bench, or Sewing Station. No, so that actually doesn't qualify for any of those. I guess the kiln would just go outside. Assuming. It's gonna be nasty and smoky, so. Let's take it over here by the smoker. Hopefully it's usable while it's outdoors. Oh god, these guys are gonna play. Yeah, backgammon there. And you left Rabbit all by himself to finish the game. <laughs> Rabbit's like, I don't know how to win. There's no other player there anymore. Maybe me, Jeebus. They will unlock the Chia pet technology. Ch -ch -ch Chia. It's funny that my food's only like 37. Raw food. I guess so they can't cook a lot with the berries. Waiting for worker. Uh, resource needed 12. Cooking materials, one fuel. Resource type creates meal. I wonder what qualifies as a cooking material. Is that like, do berries qualify as cooking material? Where are the berries? Resource categories, fruits, edibles, alcohol, ingredients, cooking material. Okay, it does. That's good. Uh, why are there bone piles in here? Nobody's doing any butchering here. Now, balancing the work is tough on these things. Um, cooking produces meals and beverages, preserves food, produces items, smoke, butchering, butchering table. The Doobie McDoop face is not doing the butchering. Summer! Summer appeared like a warm blessing, coaxing the settlers to shed their warm clothing. Now is the time to build underground storage to keep food fresh from the sunny days to come. Okay, so we can do underground storage. Um, I guess I need to dig a hole. Because if I don't have a hole, we can't have underground storage, right? Um... So, everybody dig over here, please, so that we can build something underground. <laughs> I don't know how to, like, build stairs or whatever, but I guess we can just use the wooden stairs. Me, oh my, you're good at digging. May not sleep tonight after that. What's this now? PGP... Hey, TGP, how's it going? 
until the tree beneath the cellar and led to dozens of nobles drowning in liquid excrement. What's this? What did I miss? 1184, the Erfurt Latrine event. 60 people died. Oh, gross. <laughs> yep, good times. Make rabbit dig a cellar. Uh, I don't even know who I have prioritized for digging right now. I have them, like, doing too many things at the moment. Building and gathering and cooking and... Um, nobody's doing any butchering, which is kind of a... I don't really know how to make them do that. It seems to be like a cooking priority thing, but Doopy McDoopface, who I have prioritized for cooking, is actually focused on the actual food prep. We're gonna dig a cellar, better make room for wine. Mmm, wine cellar. That's what we need. We have alcohol in here. There's a oh nope, they drank it all. <laughs> it, oh, there's look no food in here. There's no berries or anything. But all the berries are out here. Oh, job prioritization. It is a pain. People don't trigger their own spike traps. Right? Yeah, that's good. So it did say that we could put them around as like, uh, like ways to slow down the enemy, but... Nice to know they can't trigger their own trap. Can't make wine out uh, out of the berries. We need to, to eat them since no one will cook the rabbits I kill. Yeah, they're just laying in here. Nobody's butchering them. I have this set up to be... It just says waiting for resources, I guess, because nobody's like assigned to it. But Oh, they're digging now. Oh, they used a shovel instead of the pickaxe. That's cool. What are you building outside? We're digging a hole because we want to... Uh... We want to make a storage cellar here. Make an outside door to the butcher table, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. I wonder if the... I don't know if the stuff that's piled on the floor will actually block their movement, but I don't think it would. We'll give them a door. Why not? Can't hurt. Wait a minute. Why does it look like I built that on the second floor? <laughs> I don't think I did. I think we're alright. Dig that dirt. Man, they dig a deep hole. They know what they're doing. Oh yeah, we're building a kill node here. So with this we can make clay or coal. I guess we'll do uh, until we have like, I don't know. 30 coal. I don't know that we have a specific use for it just yet, but it can't hurt. me what I need, people. I don't know how deep I have to dig to make it a cold cellar. Let's just pile the dirt in the same hole we dig. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> like they're, they're standing on the tiny little spot here. They're gonna dig it out and leave themselves stranded on an island. <laughs> they've been like, help, we're trapped. <laughs> they're just as smart as duplicates. But they really do throw it down there on the bottom. The flame. Rocky soil, Trevor speed, it's considered outside. I'm curious actually if once I get down here, if I can dig underneath the storehouse from the back side here. Like if we do, uh, we're need wooden stairs. I gotta wait till they dig before I can build the stairs. Takes some while to dig holes. Hey, doors can't hurt you. You got another tail pinched to one? Nope, because I don't have a tail. So there's that. <laughs> okay, I want them to stop. I want them to stop cooking here for now. Uh, so let's not do this. What are these animals? There. Oh, finally. Finally, you're making a bloody mess in the kitchen. Good work. Hack that poor animal corpse. Oh. Oh, you're praying? <laughs> I didn't see you over there. Maybe 
Oh, but it's gonna be light in the. Oh, you gotta pray in the dark, people. That's how we roll around here. Uh, let's give them some light. <laughs> Probably a good idea to not have them pray in the dark. That on the ground. Raw meat pile just laying there. Leather pile, too. Ooh, what can we do with the tailor bench? I actually didn't even... This made items for cloth. We can make uh, summer clothes. Oh, we're wearing winter clothes right now, aren't we? They're probably slightly uncomfortable. Um, we need four of these. Craft me some summer clothes. Cap tailoring. I wonder what the... What's the benefit of having a cap, I wonder? Alright, we'll make a couple of those, too. Well, I need three, because uh, Rabbit's running around wearing some crazy flimsy mask. He thinks it's Halloween already. You don't need clothes? Oh, no, I, I disagree. I think you do, because nobody wants to see that. <laughs> I don't need no naked dog running around these parts. Oh, so here's the mining stuff. Oh, look at this. Oh, never mind. Those are just the spikes I put on the ground. That's another area that's similar. So I, uh, I actually want to, I want to build a room underneath our storeroom here. I guess I can just tell them to dig it out, and maybe they will. Um, they dig here and then dig all this. Oh god, no. <laughs> I don't oh, that's gonna go even down even farther. I don't need that. I want them just to dig underneath the uh underneath the existing structure. Whether they can do that or not is another matter, but So you can go down multiple levels, that's neat. Um How about now? Can I dig under here? Come on, give me a... There. There we go. I, I think they'll dig that out. I mean, uh, they'll probably have to have a way to get down there, I guess. So I should probably give them some stairs. Once they finish digging the rest of this hole out. Smokehouse has a mark over it? Yeah, it doesn't have any meat. That's the problem. Ba forever no worker with culinary 10 oh there's that too so we can't even smoke the meat but that's fine we're working on it we got uh, doopy mcdoop face in here working on the whole cooking thing when they're done butchering okay <laughs> it seems like they're all done uh oh new settler hunger comes calling when Guthlaf arrived, his bones were prominent and his hair fell out in clumps. Tower Dreth people stared at this wretched, starving soul. Desperation was written on Guthlaf's uh, face and he pleaded. Should you take him in? Uh, all right, let's take him in. He's hungry and we don't really have food to give him right now, but whatever. We got berries and stuff around. All right, Guthlaf, if that even is your real name. Uh, trying to get to the thing where I could rename him again. It was in here, right? Oh yeah, this here we go. We'll name him Eric now. Eric, background weary butcher. Eric knew animals inside out. He's a butcher. He really knew them inside out. As befits a member of the butcher's guild, he had a gentle way with all beasts and dealt their fate swiftly. Eric knows how to prepare exotic cuts fit for a king, which peasants have never tasted. Following the plague, Eric was tired. Truth be told, his joints ached and he couldn't fathom the end of days had passed by and by. Eric still oiled his blade, strangely envious of comrades of the slain Omer. All right, that's dark. Okay, Guthlaf. You are pro Cookatron, so let's have you do that. Uh, we'll take Doopy McDoopface off the cooking duties. This can be our professional chef boyardee over here. Although he doesn't have anything to cook, so let's maybe give him some cooking stuff. Um, oh, what's his, uh... Wait a minute, where's his skills? Need to see your skills, buddy. Culinary 14. Okay, good. So he can actually do the smoking. We don't need to cook just yet. We're just, we'll just smoke ourselves some bunnies. Mmm, smoked Haas and Pfeffer. 
Uh, these guys need stairs. So they can get down here. Okay, let's make them out of stone. Limestone stair? How much limestone do I have? Materials. 169 limestone. Let's do a limestone stair here. Just to be different. Stick that over there. Don't summer. It sounds like cicadas in the game. Cooking 14. This does not look like Oni. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Might want to put support first. I don't know what I don't know what's needed for the support, like supporting wise for digging. We have the floor here, and I was able to put floor over top of uh, other areas without support. So I don't know what's needed. We're gonna find out soon enough, I guess. If everything falls in, we know we did something wrong. Robert's going to pray again. He's like, he's like, please, Lord of all things, forgive me for the slaughter of the bunnies. I have killed so many. So, so many. Somebody has a sleeping spot there. Others are exhausted. Research available. Okay, let's uh, let's look into the weaponry, I guess. That'll give us the uh, the woodwork bench. So we can make a cudgel. We can make a wooden spear, and we can make a short bow. We also get the boyer's table. All right, unlock those. Settlers are exhausted. We'll go to sleep already. Uh, schedule. Let's give the uh, work leisure. I have them all doing the same stuff at the same time again. Oh, Eric Crutchley, your settlers are exhausted. This means they're not getting enough sleep. Well, yeah, we just built Eric a bed though, so he should be fine now. Hopefully, catching some Z's. He's the new guy, so you know he's got to settle in a little bit. Robert, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> he ran around so long, he's exhausted. He didn't get back to his own bed. Yay, cudgel! Not enough beds, you require two beds. Rabbit's like, I must have bonus sleeps. Um, let's do the woodwork bench in here. This, I mean, reasons. Uh, we'll do that, and we'll do a boyer bench in here, too. Wait, no, no, that's that was another woodwork bench there, wasn't it? Yep. So it was. Boyer's table. Hopefully that uh, that won't disqualify. The well, I don't have shelves and stuff in there anyway. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, not that I can build any decorative shelves yet, but turn that off. There. Success. Miracle. We haven't killed anybody yet. And they haven't even starved either. That's like a secondary miracle. The miracle of miracles at that point. I hope I didn't tell them to build a staircase they can't really build. <laughs> Rabbit was very far away. He must have been. We check rabbits about. I want to see if it says any religion there. I, I tried checking all of them, but uh, biography: <clears throat> Yorkist blacksmith, the shoe of holy oaks, stout, lightweight. Oh, religious alignment. Oh, there we go. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. It does say they're they're a religious alignment. Uh, practicing restitutionist. So Rabid is a uh, Oak Brethren Zealot. Uh, I actually, I meant to build the, the second shrine over here. I didn't even clear that spot for it and then I forgot. <laughs> I should really stop making all these individual little rooms. On the floor. 
Can't see. There we go. Lower in the door. Rooftop. And then Oak Brethren Shrine. There. Much better. Now we got them both covered. Hopefully no one will be upset with me now, because they'll they, everyone will have their religious spot to do their thing. <clears throat> Need an oak tree shrine to pee on for religious reasons. <laughs> Might not have died for a min, but I see you haven't killed me yet, so I assume it's going well. Yep, Robert, nobody's dead yet anyway. We got plenty of food. Plenty of food, we're uh, gradually working our way through building all this stuff. Do you have a license to hunt Austin Pfeffer? <laughs> Austin Pfeffer. <laughs> They're not building this stairway here. I wonder if they don't have the materials. I thought it said that I had... I have 169 limestone, but maybe that's just like laying around the environment? Nope, there's limestone there. I wonder if I need a stone cutter to make it into things. Doesn't look like it though. A few in stone, but solid steps. <laughs> Not a lot to be seen on many of these things here. I don't know if there's a way to like prioritize individual tasks. I don't think so though. Make wood stairs instead? I probably could. I mean, they're all busy doing other things right now, but. I think there might, maybe there's like separate skills for like carpentry versus, uh, carpentry versus stone cutting or something. So there's the carpentry one, um, steward, mining, harvesting, growing. I mean, I guess not. Making items and weapons out of wood produces items at woodwork bench and boyer's table. Smithing. Crafting in general. Non-skilled work crafting basic items like bricks. Threw a rock at him. It was a big rock. Constructing. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe they're maybe they're busy build, constructing other things and they just haven't prioritized getting down here yet. They reach where they need to dig. They can't. No, I'm uh I'm trying to give them a set a flight of stairs here so they can get into that lower area so they can do it. But they're just not really in a big rush. Uh, but I also have them like building this over here, so that might be uh, might be the crux of the problem. Some people are happy, some not so much. I guess they're not all they're not all upset though, so that's something. Ooh, more furniture. Oh my God! Wooden hay bed, uh, wooden chair, stone chair. Like you got proper chairs going on. Brewing, that's what we need. Brewing station. Equip with a copper cauldron for brewing ale. Strength of your drink is marked as in X's on the barrel by the monk or alewife who brewed it. Beer brewed to perfection. A nutritious and thirst quenching beverage. A rough wine. Rough sour wine. If there's nothing else to drink, it will suffice. Alright. Uh I do kinda wanna do the brewing, but Limestone bricks. Did that say... Did, hold on. This staircase just said li limestone, right? It didn't say limestone bricks. Just limestone. Okay. So that's not stopping that. Oh, we get the smelting. That takes 30. Let's uh, let's let's wait till we get 30 in there. We'll get the smelting. Let he who smelted forever be the one who dealt it. My construction guy has a lot of... He really does, yeah. <laughs> uh, where is my construction guy? Rabid. He's constructing, he's harvesting, he's cutting plants. Doing carpentry. He's got a few things going on. Maybe we can get someone else working on construction here too. Construction 4, 9, 8, 9. Oh, we got Doobie McDoopface on there too. 
we have someone else focused on the cooking now. We got Eric focused on that. Make the forever meats. I didn't realize it was going to take so long to smoke the meat. I mean, it, it makes sense totally, but I just didn't realize like the in-game mechanic would require a long time. So we'll get all three of the smokers going so we can get that food preserved a little quicker. I thought that you could zoom like right in. <laughs> Chronicle is decomposing the stockpile. No! Oh, that's not good. Chronicle is the actual research stuff. That's not what we want to have happen. Uh, let's put the door... We'll put a door on either side so they have easy access to both sides of this thing. We're going to close this in, so hopefully it will stop decomposing. I thought just covering it with a roof would be sufficient, but um, that clearly is not the case. Close it off. Close it off! Close it in! Microscale Valheim. Ah, yeah, not exactly, but I wish, yeah, I wish Frostpunk zoomed in that close too. Any kind of a game like this where you're controlling like uh, the people and getting them to do stuff, like when you can get in super close and see some like some of the novelty of what they're up to. I like that idea. I just gotta, I gotta sit on my hands. I keep giving them too many jobs, and then they never get them done because I got them doing too many things. Like people are endlessly farming food that we can't eat. <laughs> Look at all the food they've got stockpiled in here now. I, I think I need to lower, uh, lower the job priority on farming. <laughs> I'll let Robert focus on that, and other people can do other things. Need to see that Frostbuck suffering up close. It'd be great if we could. <laughs> it smokes the meat or don't get eat again. Fancy little community we got here. Fell asleep waiting for the roof to get figured out. <laughs> Stop the farming, put wood stairs down instead of the uh, uh, to get the digging done. Well, I don't know why wood should be a priority. I have the materials to make the stone stairs. They just need to do it. All right, Robert. Oops. Stop growing and harvesting. Go do other things. You can do uh, constructing. Okay, now that this stuff is in a room, let's see if it actually affects the decomposition. Oh, nope, the hit point went down while I was looking at it. Decaying because of ground type. Oh, because it's just sitting on the ground. I needed a floor under it. There. Maybe that'll make all the difference. Little did I know. Need to make limestone and refine limestone to make stairs. You can't use the raw material, probably. I don't know. It just says limestone on it. It's really hard to tell. I mean, it looks like... It looks like the same limestone that I already have here. The structure material, raw material. Structure material, raw material. It's the same thing. I want them to build it. Give me what I want, people. Alright, they're not doing it. Uh, I guess we'll make the stairs out of wood. I wonder if this stuff down here becomes a problem and they can't build because there's clay piles in the way. Give me my wooden stairs. Lame though they might be. 
try and build them some space where there's not uh, not clay piles. All right, let's make uh, some of these clay bricks. Why not? I don't know what to do with them, but can't hurt to have them. Give me like 25 of them. They're on break time again. They got a break. Do they know how to build limestone stairs? Like, do they have the construction knowledge skill level? I mean, uh, I, I don't know. It, it, it didn't say that there was a, a problem with being able to build it, so I don't know. Clear to tell. So, I mean, it doesn't define a, like a skill level that's required for this thing. I don't know. I mean, like I said, it might have been because the clay was below it or something. Maybe it was in the way, but we'll see what happens. They need a special limestone cutting tool or table. Well, there is a stone cutting table, but I don't know yet. Um, like I said, it has... Uh, it looks like it's the raw limestone, but... Oh, I need people to put on summer clothes. Flimsy linen summer clothes. Oh, flimsy. Good job. It matters what they're wearing. Just their mood stuff. Attributes. Stats. Food. There we go. Eight raw food. Hungry. Two times job satisfaction. Alright. So they're, they're reasonably happy. They're not like so totally miserable, although they're eating raw food. That's uh that's not good. Let's make uh Yeah, let's make make us some food over here. There we go. We got Eric working on that. He's not really like there's not a lot for him to do with the smoker aside from like refuel it. And when he's not doing that, he can be over here doing some proper cooking. Still, nobody's building the stairs. <laughs> Zachary, exactly look, it said required skill, then a picture, then a zero. I think no one has that skill. The picture was? What? Hold on. Limestone stair. Required skill. Zero. Required skill zero for the for the wooden stairs, too. I think it just it doesn't have a requirement. None of these things do. I don't think it was that. Limestone drill, drill holes, pound wooden stakes and holes, pour water in a hole, in stick holes, snap. Oh no, they're building them now. It just took them a really long time. There they go, they're building the wooden stairs finally. By the time they're done, summer's gonna be over and like all the food will have rotted in that room already. <laughs> it's okay. Finally they're doing it. Game's broken? Nope. It was just they were like prioritizing doing other activities, I guess. What are you gonna do? Uh I want the stone cutting. Oh, I had some of the chronicles rot on me, that's right. Shoot. Oh, some people are not happy. You're not happy, but you're hungry and desperately thirsty. Desperately thirsty. I'd kill for a pint or three. Tip, brew some alcoholic beverages for yours. Oh, no. Can they die of thirst? Why do they only drink alcohol? I mean, aside from the obvious reason. This is weird. I can't. I don't have brewing. <laughs> I don't have brewing. I can't make them booze. That's weird. Do we have a well? No, there doesn't seem to be a way to make a well. Not yet, anyway. Hailstorm! An icy volley heralded a firestorm of hail. The settlers of Twire... <laughs> I need to change that name if I can. 
could only shiver uneasily, hastening under the cover of the stinging barrage intensified. Once the storm passed, they crept forth to see which crops and unsheltered resources had survived. I mean, we have pretty much everything sheltered. Really just about the crops, but they don't seem to be hurting much because they've got so much food over here right now. Oh, wait a minute. Hailstorm! I thought it said they got uncovered. They don't they haven't really done that. They're like standing outside getting pelted. I wonder if I have to make them. <laughs> Tell them to recycle their beer. <laughs> Has Doobie died it? No, nobody's died. Although there's a few of them that are really thirsty. I don't I don't know if um thirst becomes a factor that can kill them. Or it's just like an indication of the fact that they would really like beer. So they're desperately thirsty. But I don't know what that does to them, other than give them a mood impact. Blood pain, stomach. Seem alright, I guess. Nobody's prioritizing digging. Uh, let's put... Um, Chass and Rabbit Dog working on the digging. Fox killed me. I'm killing them slowly of thirst. Need beer. So thirsty. I'm curious to see whether they can die of thirst. I mean, I'm sure they'll die of hunger, but I don't know how the thirst factors in. Because the only thing it seems like I can give them to drink is beer. <laughs> and that, uh, I mean, long term, is that really the best thing to be drinking all of the time? Okay, I'm really curious to see whether they'll dig underneath the, the uh, storage here. And then if they do, does the wall break? <laughs> yeah, we're clear. Alright, they're good under there. We get that dug out, we can declare that as our storeroom, I guess. The more we're beer widget, the less problems we have, yeah. College frat simulator, that's right. It's uh my summer car, only uh you know, more managey. <laughs> the death certificates are really lack of beer. <laughs> Died by virtue of abstaining from alcohol for excessive periods of time. This is good. They'll get all that dug out, and then, uh... It's gonna take a long time. <laughs> they're, they're, they're slow diggers. Diggy, diggy hole and all that. What's the problem? Obviously, the devs know beer is life. Yeah, clearly. Couldn't, yeah, I guess that's true. You couldn't count on clean water back then, so beer and wine would have been, uh... The most common things. Door in the cellar? Yeah, I'll put one there once I get it all dug out. I just hadn't really worried about it yet. So now you need a roof over your pit. Well, I'm actually I'm digging underneath the existing storeroom because I'm gonna I'm gonna put that down there. I'm gonna put a door on it, and we're gonna call that our uh, our cellar thing. Be that good, and then we'll I'll redefine the room that's up above into something else because yeah, you know, it's gonna be kind of a waste, I guess. Otherwise, and then since well, our, we won't have enough room to make that a full-size kitchen, I guess. I'll have to, like, make something else, maybe. Uh, but I was going to say, I could put the stairs over here going up and put a door on this side so they have, like, an easy way to get to the butcher's table, but this is well. They'll be running it up here and using it on the campfire for now. Look at this industrious farming there going on. Look at all these carrots. There are so many carrots sitting out here. <laughs> I clearly made much too big of a farmer's field for the size of people that I, like, the population is not supporting this, this size of a farm. <laughs> if I was smart, I'd tell them to stop it, but I'm not that smart. Oh, harvest ruined. Oh, yeah. You make cider, alcohol filled, of course. All you would need is that fruit. Um, I mean, right now, I don't, I can't make anything, but, um... 
It looked like the options that I had were uh, ale and something else. So that's where they're digging. Catching the last 30 minutes. Hey, Sasha, how you doing? Carrot wine would be fun. Yeah, carrot wine. Ew. <laughs> yeah, they just like make carrot juice or something instead. It can be like the health, the healthy uh, medieval people just drinking carrot juice. I think drinking stayed behind with your twenties. I don't really enjoy drinking much nowadays. Yeah, I don't really either. I mean, I'll, I'll sometimes socially drink, or I'll have like a beer. But I, I don't really drink to excess, of, for, to be sure. <laughs> I like I drink every now and then, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't do I don't do it nearly as often as I used to when I was in college, but in university. But that's uh, not surprising, I guess. Okay, the uh, smokers are out of uh, out of resources. Yeah, we're out of meat. I can't, I can't stop looking at that cabbage pile. No. Oh, that's a bug. <laughs> I'm certain that cabbage pile is not supposed to stay locked on there. I click on something. No, I can't make it go away. There we go. Phew. Uh, so we're out of meat. We're going to need to define some more hunting that Robert can go do and kill things with his bow. I the bunnies over there. I guess we can go slaughter some more bunnies. Bunnies all over the place in this map. Wait a minute. Get it. There's a deer. Get the bunnies too. More deer. I wonder if I can actually like hunt the population to in, into like non-existence, extinction. There he goes. Go get him. Work on that bow skill. Actually, what's Robert's skills up to now? Skill marksman seven. He's got to get up to ten before he can use that better bow. Oh, good job! Smoke that deer. And he fit it all on his back. That's impressive. That is a strong man right there. Capture bunnies to make a hutch. I don't know how to capture them to be honest. <laughs> I have no idea how to capture. I wonder if there's something I have to do like uh, research-wise to unlock the ability to capture them. Probably can't hunt to extinction because they run off to and onto the map. Yeah, that's probably true. Hey, barbarian, how's things? Welcome to our medieval town, which is uh, obviously not really much right now. Oh, meat rot out of the stockpile. What? Stop rotting my meat. I I thought, wait a minute. How did it rot already when I was putting stuff in the smoker? Doesn't seem realistic. Uh, We need a door. And then I guess I'm going to have to go down here and put a floor in. Uh, I wonder if the type of floor matters. Let's see, if we do a uh, limestone floor, natural limestone makes a slightly uneven but very tough surface. I don't know if there's any benefit to having a different type of floor in here. For our uh, little storeroom area. Uh, this will need to be stockpile. Uh, no bones, but we'll take the other animal carcasses. Oh, wolf carcass, too. We don't want to put people in here, but we'll put food in here. Okay. Hopefully this qualifies as cold. Can't tell what the temperature is in here, but... It said I could, if I stored stuff down here... Uh, under the roof, inside room, stockpile, wood floor, stability four. I don't know if it's gonna actually be gonna be cold in there or not. I hope it is, since we took all the time to dig it out. Hopefully that'll qualify as a, as a cold storeroom. 
After starving for a while, people are food. <laughs> they have, or if you run into like bandits or something, you know, kinds of food options really. They have different thermal insulation ratings. Yo, just got this game. Any tips? Uh, not exactly. I only just started playing it today too. Today's the first day it's been uh, it's been out in the open beta. And certainly anyone who's watching the game, if you uh, if you want to play it yourself, it's uh, it's in open beta right now. You can play it through May 24th uh, by picking up a copy of it on uh, Steam or the Epic Game Store. Uh, and I don't think there's a cost to download it for the open beta either. In a couple days of free play or whatever. The game actually launches, I think, on like June 1st or June 2nd, something like that. Is that meat stored in a different stockpile? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I need to, uh, I need to, ch I need to change this room here. I need to... Get rid of this zone. Because I want them to store it all downstairs. Let's just deconstruct it. There we go. Who deserves on stockpile low? <laughs> well, that's because I just... Took away the stockpile that I had it defined as. Look on the info tab in the food storage. Oh, in here you mean? On stockpile falls, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, see, I, I can't really, I gotta wait until they put it downstairs. Decomposing because of temperature, rotting because of temperature. Mmm, rotting, yum. I did define that other area, didn't I? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, they got, they're still building the floor. Default stockpile info. I wish it would tell me the temperature. Stockpile wood floor, stability under the roof, inside room. Yeah, I can't tell. I'll have to wait till they put something down there I can actually click on. That room's a spare room. Is there a way to make it a storage room, not a root cellar? A root no, so if you look up here, you've got like your different room types. So there's a kitchen. You have a workshop, library, uh, the two different types of church. Bedroom, shared bedroom, great hall, or spare room. A spare room is like anything that isn't one of these other room types. There isn't one that's like defined specifically as a storeroom. 6.3 degrees Celsius inside there, Fox. Top right when the, uh, the time is. Oh, outside. Oh. Oh, yeah. 7.1 degrees inside. Oh, good. Okay, so it is cooler down there. I don't know if that's cool enough, but I guess we'll find out. It's definitely a lot cooler than it is outside, so hopefully that 7 degrees is going to be sufficient. I don't know. Find out soon enough. I really need them to move everything down there, though. Uh, so let's try to crank up the hauling task here. Everybody go move stuff for me quickly. Friday 1, relocate all the food. Did I have to find it right? <laughs> they're not they're not going after the food I had stored in here. Bed carcass, human food, materials. Oh, here we go. Herbs. Limestone, iron nuggets, etc. No. I think it's just Yeah, that's fine. Okay, they're doing it all. There they go. Relocate all my food down there. That gives us a uh, good stock while the food showing up here now. Good. Perfect. Now, hopefully, that stuff won't be rotting now because it's in that cellar. Decomposes decaying because of ground type and temperature. What? Oh, it's not on an actual floor yet. Uh, where's something on a floor here? Smoked meat. 
Decomposing, decaying because of temperature still. Darn it. Lost property. Appearing deranged at first, Catherine was simply overcome with terror. A pitiful stumbling corpse with the wheels from... Alright, so let's, uh... Let's let her in. Welcome, Catherine. Still gotta figure out this food storage business. It doesn't look like it's gonna be cold enough in here. Maybe I had to go dig, dig even deeper. Pile rots in eight days and 20 hours because of temperature. Stockpile true. Hmm. I wonder what temperature it has to be for it to actually be considered cold enough. I mean, it's like four degrees in here. It's not that warm. Let's go deeper. Let's go to the Balrog. <laughs> Yay, new person. Can you be a person? Uh, maybe? Where is that person? Catherine. She's convalescing. I guess, oh, she's bleeding. Yeah. Times. Call her Convalescent Catherine. Okay. Uh... That's weird. It doesn't let me do double capitals. <laughs> oh, damn wrong. Uh, let's see. What's her, what's her perks? Chilly. Catherine always complains of drafts and chills and huddles close to the fire. She must be kept warm. Erudite. Catherine has a rare intellect. It could even be called gifted. She learns extremely quickly. Okay. Well, that's good. Nice to have someone who's got an erudite intellect. Uh, Where... Oh, there. There we go. Yeah. Research. Research. Turn these back up to a little more normal leveled. I wonder if I should build a second, uh, second research station here so I can have both of those people doing research at the same time. Like, power through this stuff. Another basic research table. We'll slap that right in here. Perfect. Oh, they ran... Oh, no. Um, did they leave that stuff there because I told them to stop hauling things as a priority? Or, no, nope, the storeroom's full. Wow, that's impressive. Um. Okay, well, we could... Uh, Expand it a little bit underneath the kitchen area, I guess. Wait a minute, did that floor fall in? <laughs> no, okay, good, it's there. <laughs> Ew. Uh, diggy, diggy, dig. Um, dig all this out. Need more storage room. Maybe she's just learned to wear a jacket. Sir, are you by any means related to uh, ambiguous amphibian? Um, nope, not so much. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's just not deep enough. The trailer shows you can build down quite a bit. Yeah, you can go pretty deep, actually. I, I, I don't know. It, it could be that it's um, it has an open door, like a door that goes to an open area, so maybe it doesn't get cold. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Oh, yeah, we need more beds. Uh... I really need to eventually like build them a proper bedroom area, but kind of lazy, so I'm not going to do that right now. Um, furniture? Hey, sleeping spot. Sounds comfy. Give them some proper wall sconces here. There we go. Bill Time Gamer with a super chat. Love the stream. Keep up the great work, sir. Well, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. We really need to figure out the cellar business. Uh, once we can get that sorted, that will help a lot with preserving food. Because I could have dug the cellar like really early on in the game, and I just didn't. Bed right in front of the door? <laughs> no. Wouldn't want to do that. Oops, did I do that? We'll put the, put the person who's always complaining about the draft, like, directly in front of the door. It'll be perfect. 
Don't think I set work schedules for the new person. I didn't. Uh, I also didn't um, set their sleep times. So let's give them that. Yeah, give me like anything time, leisure time. Yeah, eventually I'll figure out like a, a good pattern to use for this. I, I could do like rotating shifts of things also what might be more helpful. I could have put my research actually on alternating shifts. They would uh, only research on one table but just be doing it all the time. Does the cellar need actual walls? That's a good question. I don't know. I, I thought the stone would be colder being, given that it's in the ground. Seeing as how this is my first day playing the game, I don't, I don't really know for sure. Nice and chilly in here, at least. Uh, let's. I'm gonna try building a different type of floor here. We'll try the limestone floor and see if that makes any temperature difference in here. We're gonna get that lined up anyway. Let's see what happens. I don't know. We have a lot of food stockpiled in here, though. Food, 561. <laughs> I think I might have overdone it on the food just a tiny little bit. But, I mean, they were starving, so I wanted to make sure they were okay. And, and now they're now they're overfed. They're all going to get fat. Oh, we got enemies coming again. Research available. Ooh. Uh, let's do brewing, since they're, they're complaining about being thirsty. Okay, I need to get um, brewing station, I guess. Equip to the copper cauldron for brewing ale. Not enough wood, uh, or wood, wood not enough allowed resources. What? I think it's telling me I need more wood. <laughs> Actually, where does the brewing station? Do... Let me check the room types here again. Uh, the workshop, armor, boar, Fletcher, blacksmith. Work, woodwork bench, stone mason, sewing kit. Okay, not so much. I think the kitchen maybe had a brewing station in it. Can't have any other workstations, shrines, or beds. Alright, so I guess the brewing station's just gotta be wherever it is. I don't know. I need a brew hall. Let's put that back here. We'll do uh, limestone flooring. Limestone floor. I hate that I have to like double up the walls just because the uh, The issue with uh, the, the roofing overlay. I guess if I just like planned and built my my base a little more uh, intelligently in the, the, to begin with. Okay, we need to uh, need to chop more trees down, I guess, because we're uh, all out of wood. Give me some trees. Chop them trees. These ones over down here too. These ones are closer. There we go. Work, work, work. Brew ha ha hall. <laughs> Spears before the attack comes. Um. Well, I've got um. Uh, I've got a spear, a sword. I've got the bow on Robert. Um. Doopy McDoop face. Somewhere here I have other weapons. Uh. Sturdy longbow that won't do. Flimsy iron short sword or flimsy cudgel. Yeah, yeah. You want to use the cudgel? That's good. Eric, uh, we'll give him the flimsy sword. Oh, no, wait, Eric, let's get, let's give him the axe instead. You can take that. And then Joe, who's apparently still bleeding, <laughs> just by the little blood symbol on there, we'll give them the, uh, this actually requires a cellar. Oh, there we go. Flimsy short sword. There we go. So they, they've got weapons at least. I mean, they're not good weapons, and they don't have, like, armor and stuff, but... I've got some things. I 
Enemies are coming in two hours. Settlers' wounds need tending. What? How is Joe still injured? I mean, their hit points are maxed out. I don't understand. Uh, surrender, Joe Damrung. Nope, we're gonna fight. Fight you to the death. Stood your ground. All right, so we need to get ready. Ooh, there's a lot more of them this time. Uh, right. So I don't want to use the tower because that that turned out terribly. Everybody, you're all recruited. Get over here. Everybody hide in here where the traps are. We got these little bit of little bit of walls. We can have like. I'm gonna have Robert at least do something with his bow before they get there. Let's maybe you know what you stand back here where you're gonna maybe not not get dead quite as easy. There we go. We're under attack. Where are they? Enemies have started their attack. I don't even know where they are right now. Oh, there they are. Five of them this time. And I'm defending the wrong way. <laughs> okay, hold on. You guys go over here. Robert, what are you doing, buddy? You're supposed to be shooting. There you go. Get him. We didn't even get to use our spike trap too much. Oh, Eric's like... Is Eric down? I think Eric died. Taking a heavy blow to their forces, the raiders flee. Fierce Force Bandit Godson is dead. Joe Damarung's unconscious. Uh-oh. Bravest of the set was dealing the most blows to the foe. Took the most damage for the enemy, thinking... Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. I think we need, like, armor for these guys or something. I'm surprised they didn't stay inside the area I thought they would. They ran out to meet the enemy. Not what we want. And they're still fighting. I thought he surrendered. He's got a pole arm. Oh. Joe and Eric were both like severely injured. Uh, yeah, they need help. Get him! Get that raider scum! He's getting away! I want that pole arm. Ow! Oh. You guys suck. All right, everybody, go back to doing your thing. Cabbage is rutted on the stockpile. Good job. Okay, we got uh, we got dead people in here again. And maybe somebody should deal with Eric. <laughs> Let's. Uh... Anyone else good attending? Medicine two, medicine eight. That's 13. Oh, jeez. Joe's in good shape. Oh, Joe's already kind of injured, though. <laughs> well, I mean, they lived. So far. They might still die, though. I, I'm, I thought they would stay inside the area and wait for the enemies to come to them when they had the melee weapon, but they didn't do that. Uh, Joe's doing research even though he's like on the verge of deafness. What are you doing to me here? Oh, that's why. Convalescence should be one for you. Go sleep it off, people. You're all hurt and think I don't have any medical stuff. Uh oh. Oh, we need more, uh, we're gonna need more graves out here too. Uh,. There we go, one more grave. <laughs> damn, uh, damn dead guys buried before they stink up the joint. Ooh, they have like helmets and everything this time. Flimsy leather helmet. Sturdy iron mail helmet, wow. <laughs> Look at all the injured people. I need a hospital. Not gonna burn your enemies on the pyre? Uh, yeah, you know what? I haven't tried the pyre yet. Let's try that. Just, just to see what the deal is with the pyre, we'll try it out. Oh, they already started digging that one. Um, 
Okay, that was under here. Commit the body to the flames! It takes a lot of wood, though. This feels too respectful for the, uh, for the raiders. We're gonna have to chop down trees before we can build the pyres. The body's gonna start to rot out here before we, uh, get that dealt with. Summertime, and there's, like, dead bodies laying there. Seems less than ideal. So we'll just go with the unmarked graves for now. Space already occupied. It's already occupied by a grave. <laughs> Smart enough. No settlers in here. Why is Joe praying? You're supposed to be convalescing. Building phase. Building can't be reached. Wait, what? That's the weirdest way to dig a grave I've ever seen. But bodies in the storage cellar for safekeeping. <laughs> the storage cellar is full. I, can't even, I don't even have room for food down there. Got too much food. It's like spilling out the doorway. Maybe we should, uh, we should, when we get everybody healed up again, it might be worth trying to put like a defensive wall around this place a little bit. So if we have issues with raiders, we can just like fight them from the wall tops or something. Uh, although I will need more bows, of course, because we only have like, uh, only have the one small bow that they can use. The fence in the tower stairs, the rest of the of your fenced in area. Probably. But we could give them a better defensive spot, right? Like put the tower and things. I don't know. Well, uh it's gonna need a little reworking. I, I just sort of stuck that there to see if I could make a tower that the guy would fight from, and he did. It was it worked alright in that regard. I could put the tower up even higher, and I wonder if that would make it is like range better. I don't know. Neat though. Very right, cool. Uh, we need um, these need to be defined so they don't. Uh, no settler corpse in there. Hopefully they get around to burying those relatively quickly. Don't need the body stinking up the joint. Enemy corpse dead, decaying because of ground type and temperature. That's right. You're all good decay in there. What was the iron hatchet? Dirty leather winter clothes. Do they know it's summertime? <laughs> they attacked us wearing winter clothes. Maybe because they were more padded. Yeah, anyway. Uh, we're rolling up on midnight. I'm going to call it a wrap for tonight. This again is going medieval. Uh, thanks again to Foxy Voxel for uh, for providing the code to play the game. Much appreciated. Uh, as I said, it is available in uh, in beta right now on both Steam and the Epic Game Store. It's an open beta until the 24th of May. How do you solve the thirst problem? You have to make ale or or ale or beer. So I hadn't gotten around to crafting that just yet. Um, but you can uh, you can play this through the the 24th, and then the game itself will launch in early access on uh, June 1st or June 2nd, I believe. Uh, again, you can get it on the Epic Game Store or on Steam. But if you do happen to get it on the Epic Game Store, if you use uh, creator code Cryptic Fox Gaming, uh, that does help support the channel at the same time. Uh, but this has been a good first look at the game. At uh, like I said, very much uh, RimWorld style. A lot of the mechanics of the game are uh, are very 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 similar. Uh, obviously the you know, being medieval, you don't have the same kind of, like, uh, science -y type stuff like air conditioning and electrical power and all that kind of junk you can do in RimWorld. But uh, I like the 3D aspect of it. Being able to dig down and build up uh, and, like, zooming in and checking out the characters and stuff. That's pretty cool, too. Um, yeah. But uh, thanks again, everyone. I appreciate the super chats this evening. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time. <laughs>